right, everybody. Welcome to another episode of To the Fullest. We have a uh, mask order in effect, making sure that we're uh, protecting each other, keeping our distance, keeping our faces clean, making sure the government doesn't uh, come and put, uh, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do if they catch us with our masks on, but it's terrifying these days. Everybody remain in fear, and uh, I'd love to introduce my good friend, Mark Broughton. What's going on? I, I, don't, I have no idea anymore. Apparently, we. Uh, I don't even recognize you. I don't. I know, right? Is that you? I, it's definitely not me. As far as uh, we should be going and robbing some banks or something at this point. If we're going to be wearing bandanas, I feel like we should be robbing some trains. I like it. Yeah, these things are uh, quite the nuisance. I don't like uh, walking around breathing in them. But we are following orders, as per uh, our great and uh, glorious Emperor Sisolak said, uh, put on the masks, so masks shall be worn. You know, if he's watching right now, watch this. Oh, no, bro. Yeah. You got to be careful. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know if I can handle that. I'm living on Are the edge. Are you still six feet away from me? I'm living on the edge. I might, I might give it a shot. Look, I mean, we were I, practically making out earlier. Are we going to? I mean, what the hell? Are we going <laughs> to? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to make it. Okay. I think we're going to survive. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we are. Uh, are we taking our agent? You know, we really, we're really agents man. for the government. <laughs> it's a big risk we just took there, but I think it's for the greater good. I think so. I think we're going to, I think we're going to. Love conquers. <laughs> Love conquers all. So what you been up to, man? Enjoying the uh, time off, you know, staying at home? Are you um, working your ass off? Um, yes. Like you always do. The latter. I'm working my ass off now. Yeah? Yeah. I stayed at home for a little while. Most of the day, but I went out every single day. Yeah. Not every day. You know, <laughs> swimming, running, uh, grocery store. Yeah. You know, just to go. See what kind of excitement was at the grocery store. Oh, yeah. You know? All kinds. All kinds in the beginning. Yeah. It was interesting in the beginning, for sure. Like, going in, like... Uh, like, like fucking 24 hour grocery stores are just closed everywhere and shit. That was, that was definitely a trip for Very me. Very unusual. People ask me, um, I live in a pretty hot area of town and people ask me like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's it like? You know, I would send some pictures and some videos to friends, but the thing that I did the most, that was a trip is I would run on the sidewalk, you know, down on the street. Yeah. And, um, we're talking about Las Vegas Boulevard, you know? And um, I felt like Will Smith and I am legend. <laughs> I just had the whole damn place to myself. And I mean, nobody. Dude, nobody. it was crazy. I, I was really. Just walking around. <laughs> it was gr- kind of trippy. <laughs> I think I, 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 I missed out not going and shooting some kind of zombie shot of some yeah. kind out there. You know, I mm-hmm. should have done some five minute zombie f- short when yeah. the strip was completely empty. Yeah. You know, no one's out there to harass me about it. Well, when I was running and I, every once in a while I would hold my phone up and record. So my mom or somebody could see what was happening yeah. and when i on the occasion that i saw someone else i would call them walkers ah i'd be like walkers you know i could take them you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. dude i was in fries yesterday and people were walking around filming fries because it is just barren i i was like i, would, I had to make a return i bought some equipment for this initially and then i uh they wouldn't take returns because shit just went down you know and yeah. uh they're finally start taking the returns back, and I was like, I love fries. I'm going to yeah. go walk around fries and just enjoy myself, and there's fucking nothing. Yeah. It's it's empty, empty. It's like a giant empty fucking warehouse. Yeah. They barely got any cables there. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, man. That place uh, is done. I'm pretty uh, sure it's an online yeah, store now. Yeah, yeah. It's already cavernous, you know, that place. It's huge. Yeah. I don't, yeah, that, the, I think they've seen their final bricks and mortar days uh, that, place yeah i mean that's that that business type or that business model i just don't i don't see it sustaining anymore yeah. not of that size you know, I, I think the, the real um personalized mom and pop shops kind of stuff mm-hmm. you know where you like you know the person behind the counter and they've been helping you build your computer sure you know that that kind of smaller like personal setting might work but if you're just trying to wholesale fucking parts man i mean where you, you don't need a brick and mortar anymore people don't want to leave their house to go get it it's so fast it's yeah. just like i mean i can wait till tomorrow i can Easily. I, I i have that much for patience. some zip ties yeah you know 
I don't have to for go that three po- three prong uh, weird thing for your computer. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can wait. You can wait one day, right? It's, what what what? It, and we're probably not too far for, from the day when computers like roll up to the house and fix our computers. Oh yeah, I know. You know, they just show up like R two D two. You know, bump 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 bump. <laughs> Bump, 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 leave. That's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> they already, um, what is it called? Team viewer, right? So like yeah, if I'm viewer. if I'm working on some, something in my house and I, I'll call up one of my homies and I'll just have him log in through my team viewer and he'll do some crazy shit to my computer and like, you know, he'll hook me up. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 and it's crazy. They just, they, they have control of your computer now. They got the mouse and the, the keyboard and everything and they do whatever the fuck they want yeah. from anywhere in the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't even have to come to your house to fix your computer. Right. It's, it's a whole fucking. That's trip. true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I've been busy, and it's been it's been great. Yeah. 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 We did uh, we did mess around with some uh, some drums uh, at your studio. Mm-hmm. The wait wait wait, moose head checkered moose. Checkered moose. Ah, I should have wrote that one down, but I I, I pulled it out of my butt the anyways. Checkered the moose. checkered moose studio. Yeah. That, I like your studio. We're like we're nice. like one checker. Just one checkered moose. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. Yeah, man. I uh, I actually shot a little uh, a little video of it, man. I'm gonna do one of these right here and talk about something like uh, like this going on. What's up, Art? What's going on, man? How are you? Good to see you. Oh, to the fullest. Yeah, man. You're not gonna get some. Uh, oh, that's a church of foundry. Drum machine, right man. Let me show me what you got going on. Yeah, I really loved all the uh, so do you wanna, uh, the artwork that was going yeah, on around two, there, and there's two uh, problems. There's the you had so many crosses problem. everywhere. Okay, right? so it was beautiful, iPad, man. That were all the crosses, then the, the mirror. Yeah. I I love that shot, the especially where the the fucking mirror yeah, reflects the crosses. Pro. Yeah, yeah, that Mimic Pro though, man. It's, from it's Pearl. a beast, dude. We got some killer drum sounds out of that thing. We really did. Yeah. I really had a I had a good time messing around with it, learning a bunch, and. What's it called? You and I, pff, dude, we've we've yeah, yeah, smashed yeah, that thing yeah, together yeah. real fucking fast. Yeah, it was it. it was curves and sounds and layers and output madness. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's it's a it's the Pearl Mimic Pro. <laughs> it's not a plug and play. Yeah, I was you know I was talking to um, Mike Gilly. Yeah. about it and how he's working with that same exec unit yeah at, uh for metallica yeah and it's just like i mean the fucking sounds coming out of it are mm-hmm. just beautiful yeah and yeah you're using what the uh the air here right the the behringer x air system yeah. uh-huh that's such a great system it's so easy to hook up uh an ipad and just control your whole rig man with 16 yeah. inputs like that that came in handy i know you've done it before many times but we haven't uh you know the band hasn't had much experience with having a an engineer on hand that can walk around the room and dial in ears and dial in front of house from the iPad. It's, it's, it's nice. Yeah. Before it's just the drummer trying to figure it out from the back of the stage while he's trying to keep a beat, you know, Yeah. (laughs) everybody bitching about what they want in their ear. (laughs) Uh, Like, uh, you can come back here and move around knobs around yourself if you want. (laughs) So that was nice. That was really nice to have. Yeah, mixing from the stage is a total bitch. I do it uh, myself when I do the uh, the Primus thing, but I usually have my brother there to mix the actual front of house, but I have my iPad fucking fully hooked up, on, yeah. sitting on my mic stand, ready to go, so I could do everybody's monitors on the stage, uh, yeah. uh, you know, and I, if something's happening in the house, I, I could just be like, fuck this, I can fix it right now. For sure. Thanks. Monitors is pretty, you know, it's, it's very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like um, consistent. Yeah. You know, once you get your ears, you're you're set just about anywhere. Yeah. You really are. Yeah, especially yeah. if you're bringing your own um, microphone package with you or mm-hmm. if you're doing this cool shit where we're programming drums and everything sounds fucking awesome, you yeah. know, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. But, yeah, the uh, the kit really came out great, though. I really liked it, man. Uh, I, yeah, we are going to get those uh, drum sounds that you wanted. You were talking For about sure. the um, specific Lars Ulrich drum sounds. Yeah, they call it, uh, Slate calls it the black kit. Is that what they, the Slate calls he, it the black kit? He calls kit? it black kit, yeah. Okay. Um, and then, um, um, but we, we, we have some extra um, access to sounds yes that we won't say yes right here and now no we yeah. won't but we're gonna get those fucking drums sounding yeah so solid yeah. it's really fucking cool man that we get to just fucking pump in whatever you want with that 
<laughs> it's I, pretty awesome. I have my um, my Roland TD25K upstairs uh, hooked up to Superior Drummer, and we do the same shit where it's just like, yeah. um, I'll have a band come in, and they at first, right, they see the, the digital drums, and they're like, oh. Uh, they're not very impressive yeah live, uh, when you look at them and you know and you're like just calm down for two seconds yeah and go who's your favorite drummer you know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then they uh you know they let me know they really like david Grohl, or you know they they take and you know whoever they, they're into you know uh, and then I, and I pull up a fucking drum set it's the one they used on one of their nirvana albums and mm -hmm. and i go fucking play that thing real quick and it takes two seconds to pull up, and they're like, "Oh my God!" Right? That's Dave Grohl's drum kit. How, how often does it, does it happen where a drummer comes in and just says, "Like, dude, Guns and Roses, you know, uh, Sweet Child of Mine, or whatever, you know?" Yeah. That that's that famous drum sound, and then they you dial it up for their songs, and it's like, uh, not doesn't sound the same over their music. Yeah. Does that happen? That does happen yeah. actually. You're um, just like, oh, I. It's, oh, <laughs> right I, I i was working with um uh, uh baker's dozen okay and who was actually just on the podcast a few episodes ago we had a fucking great time check uh -huh. out the uh, baker's dozen uh podcast for sure okay uh but they came into the studio and did their most recent album with me and they have a acdc tribute band uh that oh, they yeah. work with or yeah. that, that they do called high voltage uh -huh. and um and so they were really into the whole like acdc vibe and like you know we, we, we were really pushing that kind of sound on the record right mm -hmm. but it, ultimately when the record was done i mean uh, it doesn't sound like acdc it sounds like baker's dozen because even better yeah it's not yeah. it's not ACDC songs yeah. and then they, they have their own their own vibe even if you'd like take all the fucking tones and you take uh you know the exact drums that uh they have on the record did you do that did you kind of yeah we we did uh, the same type of drum kit uh -huh. right he was yeah. just like i, I want to play that kind of kit and we went through those kick drums and those snares and we kind of built a drum kit that was very similar to it a baker's dozen yeah kit. yeah a baker's yeah. dozen kit yeah, yeah. bdk or like I'll like um, I like to import into the studio session directly into the Pro Tools session a stereo file of the re of the album that they want. So like for instance, when I was doing the Cracker Man's uh, Pink album, uh, we would import uh, Nirvana like Nevermind and shit like that, and we'd put those uh, songs up against our own songs. And so we just mute our out mute our output and maybe, just listen maybe. to Nirvana, yeah. and then pull ours back up and go. The snare needs a little bit more 250, yeah. and then we adjust. Yeah. We just make it make it sound a little closer to the Nirvana album, yeah. and then we switch back and forth, and then eventually it gets pretty close to us like going, oh, that sounds like a fucking record that we can be proud of. That's right. And it 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 doesn't end up being, uh, you know, Nirvana exactly, but it ends but it up sounds good. Yeah, when you push for when you when you aim for something, you don't hit it right in the middle. You you get close with something sure. artistic like music. Sure. But as, when you know you're aiming for something, yeah. you, you'll get somewhere real a lot faster. I, I like that formula. I do a lot of, I call it borrowing. Yeah, that's all you're doing anyways. Yeah. I mean, uh, where'd, where'd you get all those fucking riffs? The goddamn Beatles. Yeah. yeah that's where you got them from. Yeah, every drummer ever. <laughs> yeah. I got them. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. There, there's seven notes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, what are, what are you going to do? Uh, it's like, uh, I got it from the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's nobody's walking around with perfectly original, <laughs> unique musical concepts. It's always it's this uh, this growth of uh, it just stacks on top of itself till it gets to this yeah. ridiculous point that it's at. Yeah. But it all started with you know just simple you know string and percussion and wind instruments, and now all of a sudden we have all these electric instruments, and then yeah. it's just pure digital sounds yeah. and samples and keyboards, and it's like the fuck did all that come? Yeah. And then they just start scratching discs on turntables, and you know, I do now, a lot of borrowing. Yeah, it's like from, from song songwriting to sounds, yeah, or just ideas. You know, um, I do a lot of it. Almost, yeah, almost entirely, really. Where do you who, who do you like to borrow from a lot? Well, there's no no one in particular. Good. You know, it's just divine intervention just kind of comes right. in, and it's like the world pauses, or I have to pause the world, and then I go to my little note, which is usually sing it into my phone. Yeah, I sing it into my phone. Oh yeah, and now it's kept, and then I go back to it and I create from there. Cause, 
creating is like, well, you need a spark. So that's the spark. Um, and I could probably go through my discography and say, oh, this is the song I borrowed from to write this song or whatever. Uh, it would be pretty random. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was, I was happy to know that other artists do that, too, because for a while there I felt bad. Like I didn't want to tell anybody. You feel like you're plagiarizing. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I, I, no, you're being inspired. <laughs> right. It was what's happening, right? Like yeah. the artist puts something out and their art infected you so much yeah. emotionally mm -hmm. that it inspired you to right. create art yourself. I went to a, a concert um, and it was Jewel. Awesome. Okay, I went to Jewel. She's awesome, actually. Yeah, I've worked with Jewel. Yeah, she's she's a really nice person. Yeah, yeah. Um, t super talented, like more, oh, yeah. more than most people think. Anyway, she does the same thing yeah and and at her concert it was a little more of an intimate setting so she did storytelling in between pretty much every song and she was revealing her songwriting process that most of the time she borrowed it from somewhere else so she would play and her band was on point her her band would play the original say a frank sinatra song or something yeah and you know just like 10 seconds of it and everybody's, da, 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 you know, Frank Sinatra, whatever his songs are, you know, they're great. And then she would play her song where she, she could, how she borrowed from it. Yeah. And some of it was kind of close and, and the audience would go, oh, yeah, yeah. But sometimes it wasn't even close, but that was the point she was making. She was like, you can totally make it your own. Yeah. You know, and it was pretty damn cool. <laughs> and, and you have to, right? Like yeah. you, 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 nobody's born with this unique sound in their head yeah. that, that, that only, you know, that, that they're privy to. You, some, you, some do. Maybe, like, maybe they're, Prince they're, they're extra special people. If you know what I mean. Yeah. They're <laughs> extra special. <laughs> yeah. Some people do have a, a really beautiful one, but, um, but yeah, but a lot of that, it, it, it's harnesses around all these people that they aspired from even, you know, some yeah. of the greats. Um, and I always like to refer back to like, like Les Claypool, you know, and that's a very uh, Zappa beef heart kind of cat, you know, who, who it, had all these weird motherfuckers really mold his ideology of like where he's going to take yeah. music. And yeah. then he took it in a whole nother direction of obscurity. Sure. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and you just, you, it stacks and you add your little bit of spice on top of yeah. what you already like yeah. to play. So, so something like the Pearl Mimic Pro really uh appeals to those yes those those mindsets you know uh mine and yours so it gets you moving <laughs> for sure one of the one of my favorite things um in the studio about having the superior drummer set up uh -huh. is that i'll hang out with the drummer for a second you know and it's like instead of him bringing in his drums then we tune his drums then i mic his drums then we tech that Mike, right, right? Mm. They're like, okay, so there's gonna be like three things wrong. We fix everything. Mm. It's been it's been hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. We haven't gotten anything recorded. We just got the drum set up, mm -hmm. and we know that the microphones fucking work. Right. <laughs> and yeah. they would. It doesn't even sound. We don't know what it sounds like yet. Right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Just, now we're gonna sit here and hit it and go. I don't know. I mean, maybe we should turn the. You know. And then okay, hit the hit the next one. Nah, those aren't really tuning well together. And it's like all fucking day long. Yeah. All day long to get these acoustic drums. I, I mean, I just I dedicate it. If we're gonna do acoustic drums, the first set, the first day is just drums. Okay. Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. And we're probably not gonna get all the. Uh, we might get a couple songs tracked, but yeah. it's like. Yeah. We're gonna come in the second day and go. I think our drums are working finally. Yeah. You know. But yeah. with digital drums, they come in the studio. And I fucking open up Pro Tools, and they're playing. We're I recording. We're five minutes in. Record and play. Yeah. You know, and it's it's yeah. just so so efficient. I mean, I couldn't agree more. I'm, I'm not. I love both. You know, I'm not totally. I love both, but the convenience, uh, the end result, the quality, the workability is just it's unbeatable, and it's it's like it's today, man. Yeah. You know, it's like. Are we still watching TV through a boob tube? No. Fuck no. I'm not, you know, and on down the line. I mean, it's 2020, you know, halfway through. Um, dude, like get an 8K flat panel already, man, and fuck the boob tube already. Same thing with the drums, you know, we're putting on yeah. these mics and the heads and the sticks and the cords and the cables and the ears and the room and yeah. the, all that shit you got to deal with. And you can like plug and play, you know, through a Roland or a Pearl. Yeah. Peace out, homie. Dude. Let's make music. I'm telling you. <laughs> and when you're going, when you're out on the road with that and you just get to fucking power on 
and fucking here's a left right and i know my drums i don't have to worry about anything because i know my drums are going to sound yeah. the same way they yeah. fucking sound everywhere yeah. as long as those speakers are tuned okay yeah your drums are going to sound fucking awesome dude we and you know and we've been we've been fortunate as an opening band which we are 99 percent of the time to get a quick sound check but we almost don't need it i know we can almost just get a line check dude the audience, rig? The, if the if the audience is already out there and the curtains closed we can just get a line check no problem mm -hmm. right out of the gate oh yeah oh yeah jamming no problem yeah <laughs> that's nice dude if i yeah if i'm out there with the fucking take set of ears songs. on yeah <laughs> yeah I, take I, you three songs to do that when acoustic boom kid. boom boom we're done yeah you're we're halfway done. through your set you oh know? yeah you'll finally got the kick drum down <laughs> dude that's no lie man i i when i'm mixing i'm spending the whole time on drums yeah, right because yeah. i mean fuck the guitars gonna sound like it's gonna sound if you're sitting there eqing the guitar <laughs> First of all, yeah. you're fucking up, yeah. right? You fucking scoop some, scoop some of the fucking loads off, and let the guy have his guitar tone. Yeah. The, yeah. And uh, and you know, and, and and bass you can do a lot too. Sure, bass is like compression, and you can EQ it and for the room, and you can find resonant frequencies in the room to make shit shake or stop things from shaking and scoop. You know, like yeah, yeah. But uh, the drums, god damn it, drums. It's a lot of it's stuff everything. going on. That's your mix. When you hear a good mix. And you walk in, you go, damn, this motherfucker's killing it. Mm -hmm. It's because his drums no sound question. awesome. No question. And they're huge and up in the mix. Yeah, dude, I'll say this real quick about, about drums and drumming and just like me as a drummer. Like, I've always been big into to the sound. And I was always, I wasn't always naturally a good drummer, but I was always naturally at getting a good drum sound. So when we would play, when I was in my whatever band I was in, the drums always sounded good spent a lot of time on it you know even even before we were micing stuff up just jamming at home and having our little parties and stuff the drums always sound good and i mean you fool everybody yeah that you're like a good drummer when you're really not they just sound killer and i've and anyway so you know if the drums sound good dude not only does the drummer you know get all the tail <laughs> but the, the rest of the band does too you know what i'm saying the oh, yeah. band's like Hell man yeah. we love your drummer yes we do <laughs> yeah he's always on point <laughs> that's awesome yeah yeah man, it's, it's so much fucking fun dude i yeah. really like it as a matter of fact i have it pulled up right here uh with your last session here we'll push the play button there and you're gonna play a little bit of drums for us what are we watching this is the same thing we just did with the um oh, okay so this is that video that we shot when we were tuning your drum kit. Yeah. And at the end, just to give everybody a sample of, after That's we figured true. out how everything worked, we were like, hey, look at that. It's making noise. That's just basic Just and basic drums. Yeah. We ended up having to spend a long time after this, uh, re, you know, really actually tuning them and getting them to where we wanted them. But uh, just for turning the, like, this is literally, we got the Mimic Pro turned on. Yeah and shit routed yeah and we turned it up and we're like fuck it sounds like this already yeah you know and it's 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 such a beautiful thing and then of course you know we spent for a you know, bunch of time tuning it up for the uh the big show at ab vegas yeah yeah this is what i'm talking about where even if we don't get a sound check yeah. you can just you can just just start the damn show and it's going to sound at least like that yeah you know? and then i mean like dude it's, it's it's such a such a huge convenience. Yeah, I just love it, man. Yeah, it's so great. And Bring through it. a PA on top of that, it's like ridiculous. Oh yeah, it sounded huge at the show, man. Yeah. When we were over at uh, at AV Vegas, fucking banging that shit out, man. It was uh, it was a powerhouse, man. That yeah. kick drum is deadly. Yeah. Like we're like it's like I was like bring the kick drum up a, a, a notch, you know, and we. We just bump it, and like in the in the wedge that we had for a Q wedge to hear, because our, our front of the house was way behind the fucking everything. Yeah, it was like, yeah, there's the kick drum. And we walk out front, we're like, oh damn, Ooh, that thing <laughs> is huge. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a freaking monster kick. It just sounds so good. We, we get to combine kick drums, right? Yeah. So we're we were taking two different kick drum tones, yeah. smashing them together, and then yeah. it doesn't fuck it all up with phase. You know the phase compensation. It's all digital. Yeah. So they're not gonna. It's not two microphones that are yeah. a foot and a half apart fucking yeah. each other. It's two digital signals that are perfectly. Uh, yeah. It's, it's so, nice. It's so beautiful, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a good combo for sure. Yeah, we had a lot of fun at that show. Um, check this out. So, yeah, and if you guys want to uh, see the show as well, 
you can go uh, to foundryrocks.com. And we have just this little opening banner here. And you know how websites work. You click on all these little links right here. It'll send you to all their great pages. And if you click on the uh, Foundry tab there, it will uh, bring you to their videos. So let's pull up one of those right now, actually. Bing, bing, brrrm. And I hit. Check this out. Smooth fade. Oh, oh wait. It didn't do it. Go back to full screen and play. I, I, I thought I was slick, Mark. I thought I was slick. There we go. You are. You see how when his hands went up, the lights came on? He's like a, it's like a clapper. You know? ah, <laughs> the lights were fantastic for this. Yeah. Who are those mask people? Everybody's got to wear their masks. Every day I try to take it Every day I feel so down Keep on hearing people say it That I should be gone by now It's another chance to break out It's another chance for war Every piece of my heart you take out Keeps me coming back for more Everything cuts and nothing slammed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everything's just low. You know what I mean? Yeah, the symbol thing was hilarious when we figured that part out, too. Do you look at yourself in the mirror while you're driving your fancy car? I'm having that worked on today, the hi-hat controller. Are you? I'm having a little metal plate put under the hi-hat. Oh, nice. That it'll lock that controller and can't move it. Oh, really? So it'll, it won't slide around. Oh, that's Because that's good. what it was doing. It was sliding around the entire set. Yeah, and then you lose connectivity, totally. and all of a sudden the hi-hat's skipping in and out. Yeah, you know, it sounds like, um, like some kind of great DJ or something, but, you know, it's not my game. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. It's like, hey, man, that's a really cool hi-hat pattern you got going on there. It's like, oh, yeah, I've been rapping to Jay-Z, you know, telling me some shit. That's awesome. This is your boy Chris. Yeah. First time playing guitar. First time playing guitar. Yeah, yeah I was time. watching him. He was getting lessons in the back. He picked it up pretty quick. Yeah, you got a, uh, a good group of guys there too, man. They were really, uh, they were really fun to work with and like really nice people. And you know, it's, it's, it was, uh, it was a pleasure meeting all three of those dudes on the yeah, stage, man. man. We really made that happen. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good group of professionals and friends. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. So it, it's nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a high class problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and you wanted to hear the second one, yeah? Which I'll let it roll right into the yeah. second one. Boom. Nice. I love those GoPro shots. See, that's right. That's why I ended up with a bunch of GoPros. I was doing all that crap over at Vamped. Just putting GoPros all over everything when I'd go play my set. Yeah. Fucking take forever to edit them all together, though. Worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah, like you were saying, man, the, uh, Solid. the band, man, you, it's like a family. You know, you guys, it, it, you got to, like, get along and put up with each other's bullshit and learn how to, like, apologize to each other because there's sure. always shit that happens. No doubt. And, um... I think that's one of the fucking things that uh, a lot of people don't plan on when they're going into a band is the family aspect of it, where you're like, you're, you're going to be around this person a lot. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. And attitudes and, and, can clash real easily. No doubt. And, um, 
you know, it's it's very different now. Um, you know, we're not we're not 19. Yeah, you know what I mean. We have responsibilities and families and careers and you know, like adult shit. Yeah, happening. It's like um, when we schedule practice, it's like, yeah. you better show up. Yeah. The rest of us can't just do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, you know, or whatever. Um, yeah, so it's it's different. It's a different time yeah. for sure, you know. I don't know how the 19-year-olds are doing it. Um, Dude. But I know when, when uh, you know, you would you were willing to do anything yeah. at that age. But now it's, you know, you, you have to uh, be careful. It's, it's not an easy job to... Uh, get you know you can be out there doing it and a lot of people would consider you successful at it you know you're, they're sure. like you tour the country yeah, yeah. And, and you're playing fucking shows every weekend that's the easy part yeah that's the easy part it's like how much merch did Cause, you sell because the ship has sailed at that point you know what i mean it's yeah. getting ready to go go on your voyage is where the work it happens absolutely personalities all of it money you know <laughs> The money part's the hardest part, man. Yeah. It really is the uh, yeah. the hardest part of it. Yeah. Friggin' uh, and and uh, it, that'll that'll break a band right in half. Just it, not it having enough, does. not having enough money to get out there and do it. Mm-hmm. Not having enough money to uh, you know just invest in the next record. Uh, you know, you got to invest in uh, in equipment, in in promotional fucking materials. Like you guys have these cool commercials that are banging on here, perfectly timed. Bam! Right at thirty-five minutes, we got another song to play here in a little bit. We got two more for you as well. Uh, yeah, but no, yeah. Not, not too many people like to talk about that part. You know, it's kind of a kind of a bummer, buzzkill, and you know, fans certainly don't want to don't want to hear that. You know, yeah. But, um, it's it's a it's like the whatever you call it, the eight hundred pound gorilla in the room. Always. Yeah. Always. Always. You yeah. Know? It's like so. a, you, you guys remember that I put five thousand dollars down for us to do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> As they're fucking throwing drumsticks at you or some bullshit, you know, you're just yeah. like, "Fuck, man!" Like yeah. uh, this cost me a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah it's it's every, everybody's everybody's invested some some way. Yeah, even the fan that paid twenty five bucks that might be a lot to that person. Oh yeah. You know? Who's Twenty-five dying. bucks to go to a concert is a big deal, and that's a cheap concert. Now. That's a cheap concert. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In fact, I can't remember the last time I paid twenty-five dollars no. for a concert. You know. Yeah. So it's like, uh, yeah. I mean, that would be. I guess that would be what the the stations level, right? You're playing the stations, casinos, halls. That's probably like the twenty-five dollars shows. Yeah. Uh, subsidized by the casino. Yeah, su- the, yeah, the price of the <laughs> yeah. tickets just to get people Otherwise to fuck it's in. Otherwise, sixty nine ninety five plus service fees. <laughs> and the fucking service fees is where they fucking get you at, right? It's We're in like, the wrong uh, business, man. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. We don't want. That's the that's the part of it, though. It's like uh, some, sometimes your heart's just not in it to just go and take people's fucking money. You know, like there's so many things I could be doing in life. Um, like my dad and I were just talking about that. It's like, why am I not doing real estate or like mm-hmm. accounting or some bullshit ass thing mm-hmm. where it's like, you're good with numbers and you could obviously could make money really easily doing that. Uh, yeah. and I'm just like, fuck man, I'd rather not exist. Yeah. Well, there's <laughs> not to be anything against people that do that for huge. a living. But for me personally, it's just like, I'd rather be broke doing this for the rest of my life. Yeah. Than fucking being a millionaire doing something every day that I don't love as much as I love yeah. doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, that that's a that's a a balance that we all have to. You know what I mean? It, like a, along with like dying. Yeah. You know, we all have to die sometime. So and you do that all by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Uh, even if it's at somebody else's hand, you know, it's you, you got to do it on your own. And yeah, that's something that we have to figure out. Yeah. You know? So I'm the same, you know, um, it's, uh, and I've, I've worked some jobs, man. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. I'm that, I'm that musician that always had a job, you know, um, even to this day, I still work, uh, for my family, you know, um, but I'm closer than ever than doing music a hundred percent of the time. I mean, it's like well over 50%, uh, that's awesome, but it's taken, literally taken me my whole life to, to get there. Yeah. But I have the same mentality as you. Is I, that's really what I want to do. That's yeah. Um, it's what you're gonna do, right? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna do that's it to right. your gray and old. Yeah. And um, I remember Gold Top Bob. I don't even, f- dude. He's, if you're still alive, Gold Top Bob, fucking good for you, man. But uh, I'm sure that motherfucker's dead by now. 
but he's just he would drink whiskey all night long he didn't have no fucking teeth last i remember i was still drinking so this is like at least nine years ago and uh and he was like 80 something showing up at fucking dive bar and double down with his fucking gold top les paul shredding it just I fucking that, shredding dude. it. I remember that. You remember Gold Top Bob? Yeah. He was like a Vegas staple for when I when I moved to town, man. Yeah. I I would always buy that guy a fucking drink. Yeah, Gold Top Bob. But yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know if he had a dime in the world, but he sure shit loved coming out and playing that guitar, and yeah. and he did it till he fucking died. Yeah. And I respect the hell out of that. Yeah. That shit's awesome. Hopefully, I'll be doing it the same. Yeah. Like, uh, I do. Uh, I had to give up the the um. The whole like I'm gonna be the musician part, right? Like mm-hmm. you're saying, where you've you've pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed, and you're at that point where you're at the fifty percent of mm-hmm. your income is coming from playing music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I personally am well aware of how fucking impossible that is. Like that's such a hard thing to accomplish. Very. Um, from I, I personally have tried to accomplish that. Yeah. You're not playing cover songs here. Right. You know, right. You're, you're not playing fucking, you're, you're playing original music and yeah. you're getting paid for it. Yeah. And that is one of the hardest things to do on the planet. It's super hard. I mean, even the, some of the biggest names in music yeah. that, ha- that have come and stayed, you know, the, the legends that have stayed, like say Metallica or, you know, uh, been doing it for 40 years, Scorpions, you know, these types of bands, Fuck, so you know, 50 years, they, these guys been doing that shit. Yeah. Um, but the ones that have come and gone, the one hit wonders, and even the bands that had a 10 year run and, you know, you know, they were, they were washing dishes before they got big and, you know, they're in real estate or painting, painting houses now, you know, cause it just, totally. it was just a short, it was just part of their, their lifespan, you know what I mean? Their work, their career. Yeah. You know, it's it's super duper hard, you know. My buddy um, Kenny Max, a, a lighting designer, and he has several records that did very well in the 80s. He's a fucking awesome singer, mm-hmm, right? He mm-hmm. just, they, he, he got two albums out. He's made a little bit of money, you know yeah. what I mean? And to some people, that's fat fucking Kenny Mac, yeah. you know? Yeah. But to me, to me, he's just, a, he's my lighting friend. He's your coworker. Yeah, he's, a, yeah. He, he's, you yeah. see him at the Coke machine. Hey, bud. Yeah. What's it today? Oh, yeah. it's Coke and hot, hot fried. So everybody's got to still pay their rent. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and I think that's a that's a big reality yeah. that comes crashing down on you hey, real man, did fucking you get the, fast. Did you get the memo from from the manager <laughs> HR last night? Uh, yeah, man, that sucks. Uh, yeah. Got to start paying for lunches now. You know? <laughs> it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Hey, man, remember we used to rock out in front of ten thousand people, man. <laughs> yes, I remember. <laughs> we were we were doing that. Um, uh, we we had fucking set up early, and there was like nothing going on in in the corporate world. Uh, that happens pretty often, you yeah. know. You get in there, you get your shit going, and you're just like, okay, shut the fuck up, sit in this corner, don't t- bother anybody. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, cool, break out our laptops, and uh, it was one of those times where like. Oh, you used to be in a band, and I used to be in a band, and you used to be in a band. It's so all of us are around with our laptops. Check out this fucking music video I used to be in. Yeah, and it was like, it's just fucking hilarious. Yeah. We had this whole uh, great time of just like showing off everything. Yeah. And then, like, one of the supervisors comes by, he goes, What are you guys looking at? And we're, Oh, yeah. we're just sharing all of our, our art that we created in yeah. our lives. Yeah. And it's like, even if it didn't make money, I'm so happy that I did it. And I'm yeah. so happy that it's, um, it was a part of my existence, right? No That's that shit's fucking worth more than money, I think. Yeah. Like that's one of our things we're doing now where um um we got back into doing a band again, original music. Mm-hmm. Uh and it's not to make money, right? It's to be it's to be in a band till we die. <laughs> we're just like Yeah. I don't I, we're going to write songs, have an album. We, we have no, zero expectations of anybody's yeah. show. You know, we're yeah. just like, but I'm alive still. Yeah. And I'm going to fucking play music. Yeah. You know, we'll, yeah. you know, once, once a month we'll have a show and mm-hmm. it'll be great. And, yeah. so, and, um, I like that attitude. Yeah. Of it. It's, it's our, it's our, um, you know, hobby. You yeah. know, when we were growing up, our parents had like bowling and, uh, you know, bingo, poker, you know, whatever, golfing, golfing, you know, whatever your hobbies were, or going to the lake, you know, having a boat, fishing. This is our hobby, you know, music, but we're into, you know, uh, you know, some guys are into whatever, Dungeons and Dragons, leagues. This guy, you know, this guy right here. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the, the swords and shit, you know, but hey, uh, it's cool. You know, that's, that's what we do. Yeah. You know, bowling is kind of stuck. Step aside, bowling. Yeah. We're here to rock. We're here to rock this thing. 
<laughs> yeah, we had a ride. Unless you're at the Brooklyn Bowl, then they somehow that merged <laughs> together at some point. I don't know. They just couldn't let go of the business model. Right. It is, it is pretty fun to it have is, something to do while you're at a concert. Yeah. It's actually pretty badass to be in that environment. You're kind of like, are they bowling over there? Yeah, especially during set change. And you're yeah. just like sitting there kicking the fucking ground going, oh, are they really taking longer than 30 minutes to change the band over? I know how long it takes to change a fucking band over. <laughs> Who's fucking around backstage? <laughs> right. And uh, <laughs> they're going, they're, they're bowling a strike. You know? they're, yeah, they're uh, fucking back there, fucking just getting all fucked up, not giving a shit that people are waiting for them to perform. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's nice to have some some bowling balls to throw around whenever you're, you're waiting for fucking sure. sound check, man. Sure. Yeah, something to do. Or uh, or a nice, uh, nice benched area if you you took a little too much of something for the show, you know, it kind of starts getting a little hard to stand up. Mm-hmm. Very nice to have a fucking yeah. safe space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Some places, man. Uh, what was it? Fucking hard rock. I took, uh, I took my guitar player uh, there, and uh, he took some mushrooms, right? Yeah. And it's like people are like, I can't believe you take – psychedelics and go out in public yeah. let alone to a fucking concert yeah. and i go it's fucked up it's a lot to deal with but it's super fun uh-huh. right but like come with me i'll babysit you mm-hmm. and i'll just i got your back yeah. i'll just make sure you have water and i won't do mushrooms yeah. and i took him there and it's like once you take the mushrooms your legs turn to rubber and you're like want to sit the fuck down and the whole time I'm trying to find him somewhere to sit, and I'll find him a spot I can fucking get him to sit just for a second so he can rest. He's like, oh, my God. And they fucking security, like, that's like you're not allowed to sit. That's true. No place to sit. That's it's true. like, oh, you fucking suck, man. I Now uh, now we're, we realize we're too fucking old for this shit, and we don't go to concerts without seats. <laughs> yeah, Fuck right. front row tickets. Yeah. I do not want your front row tickets. I want a seat, preferably yeah. Yeah. maybe somewhere with, like, a table. Yeah. That'd be, t- that'd be yeah. tight. It's changed. I'm it's getting older, man. Yeah. Right? I mean, like, I I don't got the knees I I had when I was 20, man. I'm fucking yeah. standing up for three hours sucks. Yeah, man. That is torture. Yeah, man. <laughs> and, 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 and again, you know, we're not 19. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah, just it's like I've, I've worked too hard, and these tickets cost me too much money to be shoulder to shoulder with a bunch of pig sweating dudes. Right. Standing in the mud. Uh, for six hours. Yeah, that's not happening, man. Give me some air conditioner, a cold beer, and a hottie. You know what I mean? All uh-huh. of it. I want all the shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want it to be nice. Yeah. And let's rock out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on, man. You know? I always do. We get we always get seats now. Yeah. I ain't fucking playing. Yeah. No way am I. I mean, even if you it. even if you're not parking it. I mean, because you know you don't want to be a lump on a log either. Yeah. You know you you stand it, but when you need to rest your dogs, that's yeah, my space. That's it. That's I my can spot sit the fuck right down. there. Yeah. It's like, yo, homie, you're in my spot. And people know what that means now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way. Yeah. My old ass needs yeah. to sit down and watch yeah. the rest of the show. Yeah. Or like, what was it? Florence and the Machine. We went and I ate so many fucking mushroom brownies. Uh, they just fried me, dude. It was fucking fantastic. But uh, we were, so I'm watching Florence and she starts telling everybody, Get up out of your seats and, and you know, start doing the clap along with the thing and i'm trying to and i'm standing and i'm like oh my fucking god am i so glad that i have that chair behind me because i don't think i can do this for more than about 30 seconds yeah, yeah. you gotta <laughs> have it just right it was like a crazy man and to clap you have to have somewhere to put your beer down yeah and you gotta you put know? the fucking yeah you can't, can't, you can't be like you know you can't clap with the beer, man. Yeah, this just doesn't work that the way. Beer. Doesn't work that way. Yeah, so I was fucking pissing some people off at Young the Giant, doing uh, realizing that my my orange juice was not clappable. Yeah. We we may be seeing uh, our very last days um, of unchaired concerts. Oh yeah. Because even whenever we do start get back to like shoulder to shoulder, we're gonna have that that personal space and the chair is going to lead the chair is going to be that personal space you know the general admission concerts i think we're a ways away from that man you know don't mean to start talking about that doom and gloom but uh, but i think the chair thing is going to be is going to be part of that formula that is you know you basically account for 14 inches uh we are talking about a a personal space folks we're not talking about uh anything else but that's going to be your space and the chair is going to be it, you know. It's going to be the template of that 14 inches, you know. 
I am for it, honestly. I um, got to have a chair, bro. I like my personal space. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And like having someone smash up against me yeah. like that because yeah. so they can make an extra 50 bucks tonight, right? Yeah. And I just, I paid how much money to fucking come here? And I got this guy like this, and I got this guy like this, yeah. and they're spilling their fucking beer on me. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, man. Can yeah. I just like, yeah. Yeah. Just like, and it's good watch here. Watch the show. Yeah. And it's good in Vegas. I mean, I go yeah. to a lot of concerts. And yeah. Concert, you know, we have a very, truthfully, our, we have a sophisticated crowd yeah. compared to other towns. A lot of other towns, they raise hell, man. Oh, yeah. You know, and yeah, that, that what you're talking about, dude climbing up on your shoulder, screaming at the band or right into your ear that you count on for your profession, yeah. you know, and all that, you know, and then the disease that he's breathing into your face. Oh, it's bro. Wonderful. It's so fuck. And you're just like, excuse me. Yeah. You, 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 yeah. Just please. Yeah. You, you know, politely. And they go, hey, you ever been to a concert before? Me, me, me. And, and there's always like, the groping of your girlfriend. That's always, that's always super. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Now <laughs> I have to fight somebody. <laughs> Great. Great. I, actually, it is kind of fun. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we try not. We try not to do that part anymore. I love the part. Too old. I love the part where the girlfriend whips the guy's ass. Dude, I'm I have. Like, a, I'm just gonna sit back and watch this, man. It's gonna be good. My friend Trika, I love that crazy bitch, and I hope she fucking hears me talking about her because I love you, Trika. She does not take shit from anybody. She's one of the bartenders over at Dive Bar. Mm -hmm. uh, she has like a fucking 500 foot bleached mohawk, mm -hmm. and but she's only like two feet tall, right? Okay. Uh, and uh, she is just the ho most hardcore human being I've ever fucking met in my life. And she, somebody, I don't know what the fuck this guy fucking did, to but probably touched her mohawk, <laughs> right? Yeah, she. It's like, uh, dude, you touch my mohawk inappropriately, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's going, it's. It's about to go down. Oh, dude, you you, you heard her yell across the bar. <laughs> no, right? Like, she lets this motherfucker know you're <laughs> fucking with the wrong one. Yeah. And then, like, n not even 10 seconds later, you just hear glasses breaking because she's coming over the bar. Nice. Feet on the fucking bar, jumping through the air, wraps her legs around dude's throat, and then proceeds to fucking just destroy him in his fucking face like this until he just that's right out of a movie man boom backwards on the ground <laughs> just fucking and then she didn't stop until someone comes over and picks yeah. her up like this fucking cat that's just like i'm gonna fucking yeah it was the most beautiful thing i ever yeah, seen yeah I, I think i think even if i were the guy i would be like that was pretty cool it was awesome <laughs> that's not in it sometimes like a lot of times i exaggerate stories not exaggerating at fucking all on that one yeah. she is fucking nuts yeah it was one of the greatest things i've ever seen yeah. go to fucking dive bar you you never know what you're going to see when you go to dive bar yeah that's why i go there yeah we like our space you know yeah we do we like our space and uh it'll make for better oh dude you know it is it's um and hopefully that much closer to uh you know good old mass gatherings <laughs> rocking out you know 10k plus let's do it it would be nice man it'd be nice to get back to doing what i spent my whole life working towards right because yeah. it's like uh i learned how to do all this audio shit because i love this stuff mm -hmm. and i live for it and it's like i'm not i'm not interested in doing something else man yeah yeah so the live stream like was this. yeah the live stream was cool you know it was and we all know that you know businesses and bands are uh, you know, interacting with audiences all over, you know, um, through the internet and live stream concerts and stuff. And it was very, very cool, but man, not, we're not, we're not ready. We're not ready to go a hundred percent with that. I don't know, you know where, um, the problem I see with it, um, is where is the money really going to come from? Mm -hmm. Are, you know what I mean? Like, Who's gonna? I guess I I I I I'd probably give you a buck to watch your show on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, not to mm -hmm. be offensive, no. right? Just realistically, like most people just watch it for nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like hard as fuck yeah. to get those people to show up for free. Yeah, it's not even gonna cost you anything. Please, just as my friend, please just turn your computer on and don't even watch it. Yeah. Just give me the views. I just need to please, please, please. It's free. Right? Yeah. Fuck, it's, man. It, How well, are we going to get money out of these people yeah, the, for it? Yeah, the, the free thing is not, um, that's not the answer. Yeah. You know, it's definitely not the answer. Um, you, you know, you can do it, but everybody, it, that that's a real, that's a real charity. Yeah. Everybody's just giving yeah. their, their time, their service, their expertise, whatever, you know, their time, um, 
Uh, yeah, but the answer is, um, well, one of them is you could you could bring on sponsors, but you have to be somebody. Yeah. To garner some sponsorship, right? Yeah. I you mean, know? if you're bring, if you're 75 <clears throat> people are watching it, then this, you're not going to get any sponsors. Yeah, yeah. So that's one way. The other way is um, uh, super fans. Right. You the know, Patreon. Small. Well, or 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 have a live audience, but a smaller audience. Yeah. Um, and you know, some of the bigger bands are are doing that. We we know we know who, um, and we, we know we know a, a person or two that's really dialed into that. Yeah. And yeah, super fans, of course. But it's just like talk about hard to get sponsorship you got to be somebody to have super fans yeah you know uh especially ones that are willing to pay and you know truthfully there that's how you pay for the concert yeah you know are the super fans um and then you uh air it for free or or for a small pay-per-view uh type thing to the to the masses yeah you know five dollars ten dollars sixty dollars you know uh you know ufc can get a hundred bucks for a great fight Sometimes it's sixty nine, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and how many? How many do they pull? A lot, and good for them, you know. But you have to have something. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's going to be a new product. I mean, it's already out there. It's not new, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's going to be a new product, a new uh, profit center too, and it, and and it's going to be whoever whoever just like um, just like before. It's just a modern day version of what yeah. popularity. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if they could get like five or six bands doing it with like two of these setups going yeah, and yeah. then it's just like fucking it's a strange a band, business get a yeah. bunch of, you know maybe it's, make a whole night of it where yeah. it's like you can tune in and there's like there's going to be six hours of bands playing live mm -hmm. and that might be worth someone paying like five bucks for the night or something like yeah. that to just yeah. put on their television um well they i mean i think the uh you know the the boxing or the um uh, mma uh formula is is a solid one where you have a card Oh yeah, definitely. And, and you have an undercard. Those are your opening bands, and then of course the the the, the card, the the main card is are your headliners, and you know people are tuning in to see those, and you know some people might catch the undercard. Mm, they're not really into it, but you know anyway. I like the it. undercards way more. Well, there you go. You know, so you would tune in to all the opening yeah. bands, you know, and you'd be like, fuck, yeah, fuck, you know, Slipknot or whatever, you know. <laughs> You know, of course, yeah. I love Slipknot, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, at home, I probably would tune in for the opening bands. Right. In real life. You'd, I, at least have, you'd at least have them on while you're barbecuing. Right. And your guests are, haven't come over yet. You know, you're watching the opening bands and, you know, Metallica's up in about an hour. See? Some shit. You exactly. Know, or that three kind hours of shit. from now. Yeah. That and kind you have of shit. You have the friends happen. over. Yeah. You have the friends over and, you know, you spent $99 for the pay-per-view, but you all guys are going to tune in for Metallica and open it up is you know anthrax or some shit ghost yeah you know great i mean they could go they could be they could be filming that from different places all over the world mm -hmm. you know have different film crews filming each concert mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. cut to the next concert i think it's but gonna do it in a succession over one night to really draw in the big crowd i think it's going to be a, a way i don't think it's going to be the way yeah. but it's going to be another way for for bands to reach and you know yeah, my brother and I had an idea last night that I won't bring up, um, but uh, it also has to do with the whole like con the, the the streaming concept and trying to get the concert to the people in mm -hmm. in, a, in a way that you can actually make money with. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting to be just trying to find these concepts in yeah. reality right yeah. now because it's, yeah. it's such a weird format. It's like I can't just go play and sell beer fuck yeah and so it's so easy to go just f fucking play and sell beer yeah. i want to go i mean you know it's, yeah. let's just can i just do that yeah. <sighs> no yeah it's really frustrating it's gonna be it's gonna be different and and uh you know the people that that move quick enough and time it right are going to be very successful yeah uh and i think that's always the case in life you know you don't have to be the smartest right you don't mm -hmm. have to be the richest or whatever you know the smartest don't necessarily win yeah you know in, in, in the game of, of life and commerce you know but a lot of the, the smartest people have no interest in that money move. you gotta move man you gotta move fast yeah. and yeah it's risky yeah very risky and it's it's opportunity when yeah. things are down like this right like uh when the when the economy crashes and shit starts falling apart some people the the glass half empty people are like oh no everything's falling apart and the glass half full people are like fucking sweet i can get 
bunch of shit at a good price. I can start my business up here and here. Uh, at like half of what it would have normally cost me because people are yeah. desperate to sell or like you can just walk in and take someone's business. Oh, did this person sure. invest $120,000 in their business, but they're, they can't keep it open. You can walk in and go, I'll give you 50 grand. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and all of a sudden, and, 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 and they can, they can decide yes or no. Yeah. And you, you, know? you can just walk away yeah. and they walk away from their failing business uh, with a little and bit you of help them. You, know, you, you kind of helped them, yeah. but took advantage of them. But who gives, you know, that's life. Mm -hmm. And you know, fucking the, the big bears got eight that's <laughs> right. and it just, it's a cycle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where we were definitely are at right now where, um, there's a lot of opportunity going around, yeah. a lot. Like but, in but, the beginning with gasoline, right? A lot of people, I had a, a bunch of friends, they took money and, and, and you know, doubled it or at, in, at the very least fucking got, you know, 50% on their uh, return just by just by buying oil stocks real quick because yeah. the gas prices went down to like a buck. Yeah. And they were like, whatever I can afford, just dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it, dump it. Yeah. Went back up to three bucks. They sold that shit right away and they yeah. just made some quick cash. Yeah. Just opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh yeah he's just got to fucking find it when yeah. it's there yeah i do believe in the uh the old business model of concerts though um yeah. i, I want to make that clear oh yeah that's that's a that's a good model um you know some of them can get a little crazy i mean we know the the stories of the big festivals sort of imploding yeah you know the Lollapaloozas, and and there were many before that you know that that you know grew into something amazing and beautiful life is beautiful uh -huh. and um mm, Bye bye, you know, you know, yeah. but there, there, that is a business model if managed properly, especially after exponential growth. Yeah, it is is an awesome business model, and I, I hope we see more of that in the future. You know, and this the live streaming stuff is super cool. You know, some 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 bands may do that exclusively. You know, like yeah. hey, we're getting too old for this shit, or. This is just where our num this is where our bread and butter is. It's not it's not, you know, eighteen wheelers and stadiums, you know, but the well, the bands that are doing eighteen wheelers and stadiums, God bless them, man. Bring well, it on, you know. <laughs> I want to throw this out to the universe because it just popped into my head like you just said. Oh, what about some old bands doing some shit? What about like, okay, now Led Zeppelin can go into the studio and do a streaming live concert and Robert Plant can go Okay, we're just gonna do that one one more time because I'm not happy with my vocals because he's he's not happy with his vocals. Mm -hmm. That's why he's not touring. It's mm -hmm. like you can get you can do seven takes, bro. We'll yeah. use the best one. Yeah, you know, no, yeah. but I don't care. Yeah, auto tune it. Yeah, I don't care. Fucking get Zeppelin up there and yeah, yeah, <laughs> stream yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you I know, mean, even like, even even live recording, you know, is is cool. It's live. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Uh, well, I mean, the rest of the band could do it. Jason Bonham can go play those yeah, drums. Totally. You know, totally. and and John Paul and fucking and, and Jimmy Page can go get mm -hmm. get down still. You yeah. know, it's just and even Robert Plant can still fucking sing. Yeah, if you see him do solo stuff, he can still sing. He just can't go. Oh! Yeah, you know, fucking he ain't trying to do that shit. He's fucking like seventy something. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah so. there, there's definitely uh, you know people that will would would love to see, um, you know, Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin. Uh, I, I'm, and I'm saying I'm naming those bands because they're great and because they're they're old, old. as fuck. Yeah, I mean, look at the Scorpions guy. The Stones know? is a good one to yeah. do that too. But because, hey, listen, I'll watch the huh? I'll watch them on their shittiest day. The Scorpions. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, that's because they're amazing. Yeah, I'll, I'll 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 watch them on their shittiest day. I mean, it's like a damn geriatric ward up there. You know, oh, I'm yeah. cool with that. I'd rather watch that than than um. Uh, uh what do you call it? A, a tribute band. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No offense to the tribute bands, but you know, it's yeah. like I'm cool with it. Like, let them get up there and mess up and sound terrible. Yeah. You know, they'll they or or they're if they're the if they're the best they can be, it's usually pretty good. Yeah. Pretty pretty damn the, good. Like that Stones, I saw the Stones and it was so bad. It made me not like them, and it made me realize why Zeppelin doesn't tour, because they're like, let's not fuck our our, our um reputation up or like our our legacy up by just doing it but like the stones are like fuck you we're not gonna just because we're old and we suck doesn't mean that this isn't fun for us yeah and i love i, I love that yeah you know i love that so much that they're like uh we're gonna fucking play anyways yeah but it, it did turn, it was like i was there watching them play and i was like fuck man there is a point where you should hang it the fuck up because it was really bad and I'm like, i like and i you know i think i think they should yeah you know i think artists should that that's becoming part of it. hey listen 
bands used to not last that long. Yeah. Right. You were, you know, you became famous when you were 17 and you wrapped it up when you were 25. Yeah. You know, I mean, you're still growing hair on your nuts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, now these guys are getting in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, and yeah, they're being tested. So that's kind of kind of a new thing last decade or so, where a lot of great artists are just Oof. can't quite do it. So it's like, hey, but at the end of the day, they get to fucking decide. Yeah. And the fans can shut the fuck up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, if dude wants to get out there and sing, hey, you don't have to go. Yeah. You don't got to buy a $300 yeah. nosebleed seat. No. But they no. fill a stadium. Yeah, don't go. But I know what you're saying, man. There's some yeah. rough ones out there. Yeah, they are. And um, but and and it's and, and it's, it's it's both sides of that story, right? Because yeah. just like I was saying, and good for them. They're out having fun, yeah. doing what they've been doing their whole lives, loving yeah. it. Um, some yeah. of them use the technology a yeah. lot yeah. to make it sound great. And hey, whatever. I mean, that's becoming a bit of an art too, right? It is. Uh, some some people think it's cheating, and some of them do. There's a place where it's, there's <laughs> so. There's, I won't name the, the band specifically, but there's shit that's happening out there that ain't fucking cool, and there's shit that's happening <laughs> out there that's okay. So, like, yeah. so like um, the instance of, like, it being okay is, like, what you guys are doing, right? You have a live guitar, live bass, live singer, an actual person playing digital drums yeah. to a track yeah. that does just the synthesizer parts. Yeah. Right, but everything yeah. else—that's you guys yeah, yeah. fucking playing right there. No right? doubt, there ain't nobody but cheating. There's other bands that come out on the road, and they do not have anything fucking turned on on stage. That's true. And they play deadened drums, right? So like, you can hit them, and you can't fucking hear shit. Yeah. And they're up there pretend playing to the Pro Tools tracks from the fucking record that they recorded. Yeah. The goddamn engineer brings it out, puts it on the and runs it. Runs it through the console. Line in. Sounds fucking to every awesome. Every single channel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, line into every single channel. Perfectly edited Pro Tools files, yeah. you know. And and then they they just push those faders up <laughs> and uh it fucking sounds amazing sure i mean does. of course it does yeah. it's the record yeah it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. so yeah. like when you, i mean for instance uh the kick drum microphone on your kick drum uh it, it, it live is a, a say a 200 dollar beta 52 or something mm -hmm. like that right but in the studio you know we've fucking got a yamaha's fucking sub kick on there and all kinds of fucking uh you know like maybe they wrapped a tunnel and they put it fucking you know 10 feet out and put a fucking large diaper condenser microphone on it mm -hmm. and there's all kinds of bullshit you're doing to get the, the kick drum sound yeah. and that kick drum when he hits it boo one kick that's like uh fifteen thousand dollars yeah you know just to go boo like that and yeah. just through the preamp and then through the converter and then the processing and yeah. pro tools it's amazing and he brings that up on the console and like the, through, the band through a world-class line array yeah you know in, in a fifteen thousand seater yeah. and it's just like and it's like that's it sounds incredible amazing, and then yeah. the band sits on stage and just monkeys it right they yeah. just did we Chuck are the monkeys yeah, yeah. and uh nobody's fucking playing nobody's yeah. singing yeah um and everybody goes <laughs> here's the thing here's the thing that pisses me off about it right i just mixed three fucking bands before these guys and everybody goes everybody goes why you why why didn't your mix sound like that yeah like, oh because i could i was mixing bands he's playing back the record if if, if you're allowed to say that to a fan yeah right Fuck them. I too say that okay, shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If that. <laughs> I mean, sometimes though, some. Yeah, bands, they did. I didn't sign no fucking NDA. Yeah, the fucking. Uh, I'm not. I'm just not not being a dick on my own show and blowing people's spots up. But uh, yeah, that's that that kind of shit is happening. Yeah, it does. It it's does happen. happening. And it's really lame because it puts a false um, concept of of things out there for yeah. people, and well, I, also I, it makes you look. You're just a fucking fraud at that yeah, point. I believe you're so. a complete fraud. I believe so, and and that's coming from somebody who. Uh, you know my band we play to tracks yeah. i'll i'll say it out loud but you play <laughs> yeah well, to tracks yeah but our track i mean you know you're playing you know backing tracks it, it, that's exactly what they are is they're backing tracks nobody's faking anything like i'll put yeah. my guys up to anybody i got one of yeah. the best singers on the fucking planet He's you know good. i got a shredder guitarist i got a shredder bass player we all sing we all play we've got decades into our talent i mean there's like i'll put my dudes up to anybody our tracks are literally instruments that we don't play. Yeah, it's and like extra it's like, little bells like, and whistles. Well, yeah, you yeah, can have a cinema, keyboard player. Yeah, we have these. I mean, we have we work with some great programmers too. And, yeah. and listen, you know, you're gonna have a hard time arguing with any EDM guy, any DJ that you know. You, you're gonna have an argument with Calvin Harris that he's not a musician. Right. Really? 
Yeah. Really? Tell him that. Yeah. So we work with programmers like that. And, yeah. our, you know, it's a lot of cinematic effects, uh, keyboards. You know, we don't have a keyboardist. Yeah. And guess what? We're not going to have one. Yeah. Well, you know, we're not going to bring up it. a DJ. Yeah. It's we, a certain yeah, image, yeah, right? We put, it, we put it on a track and we work with it as part of our sound. And it's awesome. It sounds great. I mean, too. we can have orchestras and band, like, you know, like a, a, you know, what do you call them? Like a pit band. I don't know. You know, horns and shit. Yeah. 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 Symphony. We, symphony. Yeah. Symphony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, we can have these things, choirs and these things, and it's just, hey, listen, it makes the art better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, bass, drums, guitar, singing, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not flying in, backing vocals and faking. I mean, we sing it all, dude. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I, I, I know the argument well about backing tracks, you know, um, like I've literally called into Eddie truck show several times <laughs> and tried to have this argument with him that he yeah. cannot win, Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, but he, he likes to argue about it. And, uh, <laughs> and I definitely see his point because he's talking about what you just yeah. spoke about, just total fraud, total yeah. fake effing sucks it's two sides of, it's a completely different thing yeah that's it's it's like Millie vanilli right oh. you know it's when the cd started skipping they were not up there singing those songs yeah. they weren't they didn't even write those songs yeah. they're just it's a lie and when you're do, taking something that's like artistic and uh, and for me personally very spiritual mm -hmm. like uh like music i mean it speaks to the, the, the type of music that speaks to you as a person, mm -hmm. it's part of like a deeper part of you, I think. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And when you're lying to someone about that connection, mm -hmm. I think it's an ultimate betrayal of uh, yeah. to people. Like, yeah. the, the, I, I, I loved this so much, yeah. and you're telling yeah. me it, it was all a yeah. lie? Yeah. Fuck, man, you yeah. know? Well, check this out. And, and, and you know, we, we don't have to go su super deep, although we have on, on the tracks thing, but yeah. it's, a big, it's a big topic these days. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and don't I don't think for a second that most of the fans, they don't care. No. They see the logo. This is Eddie Trunk speaking. Yeah. You know, they see the logo. They hear the songs. They don't give a shit. That's what they're there for. Yeah, man. That's right. You know what? And if they came to be and entertained it, and, and if they don't want to go or if they didn't want to go, mm -hmm. they wouldn't have, you know, paid one hundred and thirty nine dollars for a ticket. You know, so anyway, what I was going to say about that is some groups um, it's, they're, they're so, they're massive. Yeah. Just, you know, they have 130 employees, you know, it's, it's a, it's a big train that's rolling, you yeah. know, and they can't pull it off anymore. Yeah. Not entirely. You know, they have, they have their spots where, you know, the drummer's laying it down, the guitar player's laying it down, you know, the bass is, you know, they're, 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 they're handling the instruments, but the singing, mm. yeah. it's rough. I mean, with age, right? Yeah. You know, you can't, you, you, the shit's different. Yeah. You know, the shit was hard when so, he was 20. So, so yeah. So that the part of it, you know, and, arm yeah. And, and yeah. And <laughs> hello, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the, the big one is the, is the singing. We yeah. know there's a lot of faking oh, yeah. going on with the singing, the singing, you know what I mean? And, and, um, especially in pop music. Yeah. But if you're part of a, you know, a $6 billion operation, yeah. Hey man, we're going to have to run some tracks. If you're Christina or, or, Aguilera, or, 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 this, or this ends today. Yeah. Or Miley Cyrus yeah. or any of those things where you're not, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to be rude as fuck about it. I don't care. It's my fucking show, right? I can have my own opinion. Yeah. You're not an artist. Okay. Your product and you are not selling art. You're selling a product, True. a brand. True. You are Prada. Yeah. And this is just what we, we fucking yeah. make goddamn money. Yeah. We're here to fucking print paper, yeah. and you're going to sound perfect. You're yeah. going to be perfectly auto-tuned. You're going to wear what we fucking tell you to wear. You're going to cut your hair the way we tell you to cut your hair. Yeah. And um, and you can be cool with it or not. Yeah. You know? No, no. They don't have a choice. They, they were signed <laughs> contracts already. You already signed the contracts. Yeah. We own your face. Yeah. Literally, you signed a piece of paper yeah. that yeah. says... I own your face, yeah. and you aren't allowed to fucking do anything and to it unless chances, I give you permission. Yeah, chances are they were they were cool with it. Yeah, you know when they signed. Yeah, I mean you know those are the literal American Idol fucking contracts. Yeah, yeah. If you win American Idol, or I believe it's even if you're just in the top eight, mm -hmm. right? Um, they own your face. Mm -hmm. They own your hair. They own what you, like you can't get you can't a show haircut. up with you can't show up with a nose piercing no. or, or a soul patch. Mm -mm, that's not your face no more. Right. That belongs to the company. And um, and in those circumstances, um, yeah, they're gonna you are going to um, yeah. lip sync. Yeah. Because you're not an artist. Yeah. Uh, but you like, know, there's there's so much yeah. that's happening, and the bigger the artist, the more 
shit there is what we're talking about now. You yeah. Know? And, um, yeah, you know, it, it, you make your bed. You yeah. know what I mean? You make your bed. And good for them, yeah. man. I mean, the songs are catchy. We all know I, how those songs are written, I, and, and, and know, they go and right I, down to where it's the catchy part of your brain is. Yeah, and I, you know, I defend them. I defend them all the way. I mean, there's I a like lot, pop there, music. There, there's a lot of haters out there, you know, about yeah. about the um, what they think is the fakery and yeah. the fraud. But it's like, hey, man, you know, um, w- you know what? I always like to just turn it on. I'm like, what do you do? Oh, yeah. you're 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 a rock journalist, huh? <laughs> right. You still, uh, you still, you know, you still pumping through the transistors over there at the radio station. Oh no, I broadcast from home. Oh, uh, yeah. How about that microphone? Yeah, from 1972. Yeah. Oh no, that's a fucking Neumann. I just got it two years ago. You know, Telefunken, whatever. Oh, yeah. So why are you giving these guys a hard time about using the technology? Man, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know, and you like, feed you feeding your wife and kids uh, with this uh, with that Telefunken there, uh, Big Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. So are they. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and and like, if you don't like them, don't listen to them, you know? <laughs> that's it. And, um, you know, I like the Beebs, man. Yeah. Justin Bieber's so great. <laughs> I really, I really wanted to see him fight Tom Cruise. Fuck, I would have paid for <sighs> that. So, I, everybody would have paid for pay per view because Tom Cruise would have whooped his little ass. Easy. Tom Cruise is a badass. Easy. And he's crazy. Yeah. He's crazy as fuck. Yeah. So, he, uh, my money was on Tom Cruise. Be- 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 Bieber's is, Bieber's is soft. He's, no, he's soft, though. He's a, yeah, he, it's, it's glamour he's, muscles. He's, he's lanky, though. It's all glamour muscles. Yeah, like I like, like to give my brother shit for. You don't got. You're all. What the fuck did they say on? A, you're all buys and tries, and you don't got your fucking core tightened up for shit. Yeah. You just work your fucking glamour muscles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like the, <laughs> I like the Biebs, uh, but on, yeah. on, on, on a, I think his shit on I SNL recently was really good. Uh, Bieber. Yeah, oh, he really? did an appearance on SNL, That's and that I couldn't tell if it was LED wall or if he was actually using um, neon tube lighting. It was this fucking really cool effect. Um, that was happening, and I was like, oh, cool, they're just doing that with an LED wall, but then I was watching, and I was like, oh, fuck, I think I can see the non-lit up neon signs. I was like, did they fucking layer, like, 20 neon signs over the top of each other, or am I tripping, and that's just a video wall? I don't know how they did it. It's a good look, though. It looked great. I love neon, even to this day. Oh, That little stage look. on SNL, it's like, it's, it's the size of my fucking living room, and they're like, here you go, yeah. um, your, your fucking opportunity to show the world your stuff and it's like this is like one of the smallest stages i've ever played on and the stuff people come up with on that stage is fucking awesome yeah or it's it's all it's all camera yeah it's all i mean the camera doesn't really show the depth so yeah you can you can make it that's that's a it's it's typical new york city man you know there's no space you you get that much space for you know a billion dollars (laughs) like who was on that i hated it it bummed me out I didn't hate. I don't like to say hate. I I I disliked their set. It was David Burns and I love David Burns and I love yeah. the Talking Heads. Yeah. And he came on and did the weirdest shit. And uh, David Burns. <laughs> yeah, it, it was so. It was just like I really wanted to like it, and I'm sitting there just going, I'm not digging it, Dave. I'm not digging it, man. Like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He could have done. You know, he, he could have could have done anything he wanted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. You know, the thing about that guy, God rest his soul, is um, uh, he 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 could get super weird. Yeah. And like miss it, but he had so many moments in his career where he made the weirdness. He 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 made it popular. Yeah. And it was just a slam dunk. I mean, they were just oh, yeah. killer. You know. You have to super weird, those, super weird, but cool weird, you know. But yeah, he was. I think he was being a little, a little extra cray cray that night, probably. That, yeah, it was, <laughs> you missed it, dude. It was just like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Taking chances. You know? Yeah, you got it. You got to take. You take twenty five chances, and then all of a sudden, you know, it, this isn't my beautiful house. This isn't my beautiful wife. Yeah. And you're just like, oh fuck, what the fuck is this song? You know, and then it's one of those. The, I don't know. Is that in every movie that's ever been made? <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, fuck, man. Like, where did that fucking song come from? You know, and it's just this weird dude, yeah. this weird fucking dude. Yeah. But I had a point I wanted to make about the um, the lip syncing thing uh, that kind of completed the whole ar- uh, argument, uh, where the f- pop stars doing it right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and getting caught doing it over and over again. Um, it's to the point where people just go like, um, yeah, everybody just lip syncs. That's just what you do live. It's like, oh, the government, everybody knows the government's corrupt. It's just, it's, yeah, I mean, what are we supposed to do about it? Right. Right? It's that fucking weird attitude that people take towards it. And, uh, and so then you get assholes that go to see Kiss concerts and they fucking want to sit there 
and say Paul Stanley's fucking lip syncing. And it's like you can hear his goddamn voice. True. You can hear it crack. You can hear him fucking yep. miss a little thing. And th Paul Stanley has been singing like that forever. He's just amazing, yeah. you know? And But everybody... Uh, fucking wants to go out and do it, and then that's, that, that's like people the thing. They go, work their they asses go, off. They go looking for it. Yeah. yeah, and then they just think that that's oh well, he did a great job, therefore he faked it. Yeah, fucking pisses me off yeah. because I I know he's old. Yeah, I know he's old, but the dude's been dick. He's been getting it forever, and he can sing those no, yeah. high notes yeah. still. And hey, listen, still, there's no question about it. Have they relied on tracks in the before? Absolutely. So yeah, you know, but, but but whenever you're whenever you're rocking, you know, two hundred shows a year into your damn near seventies. Yeah. Sometimes you get a little injured, you know, yeah. you get a little messed up, you're sick or whatever, and and who knows, you know, maybe you, you don't know these guys. I mean, I know guys like a, a, a friend of mine, Don Don Dawkin. Yeah. You know, I mean, that dude was up I there doing Don. shows. Listen, half of the people don't realize how many times he's had cancer gone through chemo can't sing a note he yeah. still gets up there and sings and it sounds horrible and he tr he just tries from the first time they met and Don. people give him the hardest time because he's not singing well and it's just like but you know what he won't say he does he's, he doesn't he's, he's, tell he, people that he had cancer nope nope he's backstage yeah. having his little tea and honey talking with his friends you know ends with some shots and stuff he does what he, he does what he can he gets up there and he just tries and you know um uh anyway he could have quit. Paul, Paul Stanley or anybody, yeah. Yeah. you know, hey, listen, when you've had a, a 40, 50 year career, Ozzy, James Hetfield, these guys, man, uh, Klaus from Scorpions, it's like, you're probably going to have some nights where you faked it. Yeah. Because yeah. you know what? 30,000 people are out there waiting to hear you go, California. Yeah. You know, and everybody loses their mind. Yeah. Cheap thrill, you know? Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put that on a track so that people can lose their fucking mind. Yeah. Because that's why they're here, you know? Oh. Did you hear that? Was that was that a backing track? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, get on your fucking phone. Yeah. Report it on Facebook. You know, be the fucking hall monitor. Dude, like, you really should just, like, quit going to concerts, bro. Yeah, if, that's, know, if like, that's where you're at yeah, with yeah. it, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and, dude, like, I, I went and seen them do their last tour, uh, which is obviously not their last tour because they're never going to stop touring. Um, <laughs> nope. But, uh... <laughs> I, I just don't if they come through fucking town I'm not missing kiss right because right. it's the best show you'll ever see in your life really don't is. fucking miss a kiss concert yeah. you're really dumb if you do yeah. uh, I took my girl she's just like I don't I don't get it why are we going to this thing and uh, then everything starts blowing up and yeah. fucking lights and lasers and they, it's and she's just like yes it's, it's over the top. It's it's it is. It's it's over the top. It's everything. I you could be sitting 300 400 feet away from that stage and the fucking pyro is going to burn your fucking shirt. It's yeah. it's so much fire. It's yeah, so man. much fun. Yeah. Best fucking concert you'll ever fucking yeah, see. Yeah, I mean it, that that is that is like a you know the brand of brands, you know. I mean yeah, they're yeah. fucking McDonald's, man. Oh yeah, you know what I mean rock it's and like roll. yeah, like if you that, that that's become something where you know if I hit you up and said, "Yo, Jason, man, I got a couple tickets to the truck and tractor pull," and you might be like, "Okay, yeah." Even if you don't like it, you'd be like, "Okay, fuck yeah, yeah, it's awesome," you know, or or anything else, you know, some kind of ice skating shit or NASCAR, just whatever, you know. It's like that's how Kiss is anymore. People just go. That's how, literally we're going how, to the show. Literally, that's how I uh, discovered them. Was they did a live thing on Fox. I, when I was a kid, now, I don't I remember what the fuck it was for, but they were just like, Kiss is going to play a whole concert live, and we're broadcasting it on Fox. And yeah. I, I had never been to a concert before at this time. Uh, First? Yeah, so it was like, uh, like you know, I was just like, cool. Uh, I hear this band Kiss is amazing. Uh, I'll check it out. And I, on, it's completely honest, it's just like the first time I heard Slayer. I was like, I don't get the music, right? <laughs> but like... Uh, but I mean, I fucking <laughs> love Slayer now. You yeah. know, this is like, like uh, the third time I heard Rain and Blood, I was like, "Fuck yeah!" yeah. But uh, but Kiss was the same way, right? It was just like um, I don't understand this music because it was probably like the '90s at that point, you know. And mm -hmm. I'm listening to like the Offspring or something like that is where my vibe was probably at. But then all the pyro starts happening, and they come out on fucking stage, and they just start doing their fucking thing, and the cameras are doing the fucking upshots of Gene yeah. with the giant boots, yeah. and you're just like, the and the music was great, but like the show was just so overwhelmingly awesome yeah. that even my disconnect of the '70s rock and roll at the time. Uh -huh. 
I fucking just fell in love. Yeah. I was just like, I don't know what I'm, I, why I like this so much, but yeah. I fucking like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, some some bands they go all out with the show. You know, and Kiss has been like that from the beginning, man. Oh, I mean, yeah. and it's and it's just multiplied through the decades, you know. And now it's like this most gargantuan, obnoxious thing ever. It's super cool, you know. Uh, that's just what it's become. Hey, some bands can get away with stripped down. I mean, look at the Foo Fighters, you know. Totally. Look at a lot of the 90s bands, you know, that the grunge era bands, that w it w they were like the opposite. They were the anti that, Yeah. you know, and that was their show, and it, it, had, it had a little run. But, you know, bands that put the extra in, I mean, look, we live in the show business town of, uh, of our planet, you know, and um, you go to some of these shows, you're kind of like, okay whatever you're walking in you know you're like okay you know some blue guys or some shit you know whatever but you go check it out and you're like man they put a lot of thought into this shit you know and it's pretty cool it's like it's just a little different you know it might be a circus it might be a play it might be a rock band you know i i, I like it you know I, I like the uh you know they they put so much into it you know and oh, the yeah. music the music is just part of it you know yeah, especially out here in Vegas, man, we um, we are spoiled, rotten as like a population. See so much. You think about like, uh, or I mean, you just, you just go anywhere, right? If you leave to go visit family, and you're like gone for like a fucking week or whatever, and you're like, yeah, what uh, what are we doing? You know, we're gonna fucking do something or what? And then it's like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna sit. On, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sit at home and watch fucking TV. Yeah, we're in for the night. Yeah, and you're like, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, there's not like a bar right. with a live band or like a bowling alley or like we can go to an arcade or we, you know, like, uh, what? No, dear, those are no. th those closed at nine. Yeah, and you're like, fuck, there's like literally nothing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. We're just so spoiled yeah. at, um, living in this town, man. Yeah. Listen, in all seriousness, I want to say this to everybody. Don't be so goddamn serious. For real. You know, just like... Dude, just have some fun. Lighten up. Lighten up. Not just about music, about everything. Please, just lighten up. That's right, man. You know, let it flow a little bit, dude. Just let it flow because, you know, you're going to you're gonna make friends. You're going to – it's going to be better, you know, if you just, just lighten up, man, you know. Dude, uh, it's a dance. Life's yeah. a dance. Yeah. It's not – there's not – a, a end point that you're trying to get to. Yeah. You're just here to fucking groove to the song that's on while you're alive. Yeah. And it's not a fucking serious game that you're playing. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, it's uh, every, every, you have to, everyone has to bounce, but lighten up, man. You know, to all the critics out there, please just stop. Yeah. Okay. Nobody cares. <laughs> Well, that's what you do when you yeah. can't do anything, right? You criticize everyone else that goes yeah. and puts themselves out there. Yeah. They're like, you know, they sit in their, people want to fucking sit in their, uh, their corner and fucking just, just fucking, uh, belittle yeah. all these other people who have worked so hard mm -hmm. and risked embarrassment and taking it upon themselves to like walk up on a stage or get in front of a camera yeah. and put themselves on the spot like that. It takes so much balls, and mm -hmm. it takes a lot to do that, and for and for someone to just shit all over it, whether it be good or bad, it's yeah. like, yeah, but man, you go fucking up there and do it, right? Yeah. I mean, let me see before you shit all over uh, th this person's attempt at just living life and and, and expressing themselves, right? It's like, uh, let me let's see what you got. Yeah. Do you got anything? Do yeah. you do anything with your fucking life, yeah. or do you just shit on everyone's dreams? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of times, that's it. You just <laughs> shit on everyone's dreams. You haven't put an album out ever, uh, yeah, right? You, yeah. you, ever. You never really. You, have you written one song? One? Yeah. No, you've never written a song. It, Can it, you play an instrument? Is, is any of it even even necessary anymore? Whether you're a food critic, you know, a movie critic, you know, bands, whatever. It's like I realize that you know, newspapers and yeah. websites have their little you know their little star formula, you know, five stars for us or whatever. Yeah. You know, but it's like, is it really necessary? It's like, can you not just you know go to YouTube and do your own little research yeah. and decide for yourself? I mean, do we really need a critic, you know, about food? It's like, oh, look, I mean, the dude makes a cheeseburger. I mean, okay, it's like, let the people go and decide. Because listen, if it sucks, that person will know. Yeah. Because they won't be in business very long. 
you know, same thing with the music. It's like, just quit being an asshole. You know, nobody really cares. How about we do a critique on your critic column? Okay, let's do that. For real. You know, right? like, oh, fuck off the newspaper, man. <laughs> and a lot of it's just garbage. It's just filler. Yeah. You know, it's just like, well, we have, uh, you know, 50 pages of a fucking magazine. We got to fill with shit every month. Mm -hmm. What are we going to fill with? Yeah. You know, I can come up with a paragraph that actually says nothing, but it'll fill this page up. Yeah. You know, and it's just like, oh, slap a picture on it. Yeah. That's one out of 50 done. Yeah, it's a strange, it's a strange little time. I, I, you know, I go to concerts with people and I, like one of the things now is like uh, going to find out what the set list is. Yeah. You know, that's a, that's kind of a big thing. And maybe it's been a big thing for a long time. But to me, that's kind of almost like reading a, the the uh, well, let's go see what the you know, what the critics are saying about the movie. And that will help us decide what movie we want to go to. I'm like, no, no, let's go to the fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Sounds it sounds good to me. Like, let's element of surprise in this world of there's no fucking surprise ever. <laughs> you know, I uh, let's there. go to the movie. Let let's go try the steak dinner. Uh, you know, at the casino. Let's go try it. You know, I mean, yeah. If it sucks, we won't go there again. It's gonna cost you a hundred, hundred, two hundred bucks to go try it out, yeah, and right. you had a steak dinner. But you've already decided you're gonna go have a steak dinner. Yeah. You're gonna spend a hundred dollars somewhere. And you know, I, mean, I don't know. Go you know, fucking that, have it. That's yeah. just my thing. Enjoy about, the experience. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. The you know, to know too much about, you know. Well, you're expecting things at that point too, right? Yeah. You're like, well, I read all the articles and this is this supposed to be next. the best fucking steak I ever ate in my life. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, uh, or yeah, like you're saying, this this song's, this, they, this, this, they know oh, the gonna, fucking gonna, set list gonna is. Play, they're going to play, uh, you know, Smells Like Teen Spirit next. This is it. This is the one right here. And then, you know, and it's like, and they do. And you're like, yeah, great. Great. That's like telling What's a girl you're going to kiss point? her. Yeah. You know, I'm, yeah. you tell her you're going to kiss her. Oh, my God. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Wah, wah, right? Yeah. yeah that's man. not living life. Yeah. Life is supposed to be. Th that's one of the things about um, um, one of the games I play, right? I play uh, Magic the Gathering. And uh, I won't get too deep into it. But the fun part about it is no matter how I build this fucking deck of 60 cards, mm -hmm. I have to just I have to draw seven fucking cards, random, and then me and we're playing, we're playing, we're playing. The fun part about it, the thing that you're just like, oh, I got a situation going, and it's like that one card. It's you don't know what that one card is, right? But oh my fucking god, if it's this one card, oh baby, yeah. you know, and you yeah. th that's what I'm playing for is that yeah. excitement yeah. right there. Yeah. You got to make that connection of like, yeah. I don't know what that is, and not knowing and the probability of it and the chance yeah. that it could be this great thing, mm -hmm. right? Oh my god, you know, not yeah. knowing such an important part yeah. of enjoying and experiencing yeah. this thing we call life. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, what is it on? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. They have the, the, the scratcher. Yeah. And they go to the arbitrator yep. to say who the scratcher is. Be, but they're like, why don't you scratch the fucking ticket? And it's like, well, this ticket represents hope. It, it, it could be a winner, right? Mm -hmm. And it, that's more important yeah. than actual the actual money. Yeah. You remember back in the day um, for concerts, you know, they, they were really different. You know, you had to, um, you know, you had to go to the ticket place and get ticket. You know, it was very... Awesome. Primitive. And fun. <laughs> yeah. But dude, that Camping was... Camping out overnight. That was the best. I it was get, better than the concert. I did it twice in my life because... Okay. yeah. Um, I've done it I, I'm, too, I'm too young, <laughs> right? So like that kind of phased out, right, as I started going to concerts. But I got to do it for Slipknot. And I did it for my mom to go see... Who was it? She fucking loves him to death. Uh, and he was playing out here. Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. I stood in line. I, I stayed overnight for Rod Stewart tickets because she's just like, I gotta, I can't never, I got, I gotta get those fucking tickets. Yeah, and that was the way you got them. Yeah, yeah, and we were just stoked. We we're like, yeah, we'll fucking hang that out, was and like get the, fucked up in front of Tower Records. It was like <laughs> every every concert. It was like the ultimate foreplay. You right. Know? It was like you had the, you know, the anticipation while you were still at work or school, and you had to get out to the Megadome, you know, by six o'clock you know, to get in line and tickets go on sale the next day. And then your friends start showing up and, hey, uh, hey there's some beer hey, and there's some weed, there's some girls. And it, it was on, man. And all night long, it was great. And you're rolling, you know, whatever, Def Leppard, whoever you're going to see or whatever. And then then you see them all again at the con and you still haven't they haven't even played a note. You yeah. know, you're still like listening to their records and at home and on the radio or whatever. Anyway, so what we're talking about is that that 
you're, you're hopeful that you're going to be entertained and you're going to have some fun and you're going to meet somebody or just whatever. You're going to live, man. Yeah. You know? Uh, it's and, like looking forward to it yeah. is almost more fun than the actual concert itself. Yeah. I always find uh, that I, uh, in, in my life personally, I have to have a, uh, an event that's coming up. Just something. I don't give a fuck what it is, right? If there's nothing in the future, like a party that I'm planning or a little trip that we're going to do or a concert we have tickets to, I need to get on that. I need, I need something that's a month or two out that I'm, like, looking forward to because the looking forward to it is so pleasant. Yeah. I really enjoy just having that in the back of my mind. Um, uh, it's just, it's, oh, man, life is great, and I got this thing coming up, and yeah. it's just it's fucking awesome. Yeah. You know, I, I, it's just that, that, little, that little thing, that little sliver yeah. of, of just life is good and things are going to be good in the future. It's a, it's a, an, a, an affirm, a reaffirmation yeah. of yeah. shit's coming up that's going to be awesome all the time. Yeah, it's, it's like don't, don't be like the um, – don't spoil the surprise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like – forget forget the critics forget the reviews you know forget the you know the websites that that point out the flaws of of a concert or what the set lists are or you know uh, you know backing track debacles or just whatever i mean just like man just yeah you got to experience it lay off firsthand yeah just lay off stand up comedy is a great example of this phenomenon okay. right because you if you go to a concert you want to hear that song again, right? Because sure. music affects your brain completely different than fucking jokes and, and, and storytelling kind of does, where uh, the more you hear something, the more you become kind of hypnotized to it, and then there's that pattern recognition um, payoff where you're like, oh, I've heard this song before, and your brain goes, we have heard this song before, recognize the pattern. Yeah. And your brain loves recognizing patterns. No question. So, um, but with jokes, it's not. there's no pattern there, right? And... Um, once you've heard a joke, you can't hear it again. Definitely. You can't go to a, the fucking same stand-up set twice and laugh at the jokes a second it's time. It's very different. Yeah, because you know the punchline, you know what's coming up, yeah. and that's the same thing we're kind of getting at, right? Where it's like once yeah. you, once you, if it, you, if you know what the experience is, what's the fucking point of having it? True. Yeah. True that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's what that's that's my that's my pushback on all the, you know. Uh, the, the the critics and you know because it's tied into the other stuff we were talking about about you know people dogging bands about doing it however the fuck they want which in my opinion is the best way like yeah. I know you probably don't like people telling you WTF to do uh, me neither bro you yeah know, let me live my life let me run my business let me do my shit handle be be the person that I am the personality you know we we call it it's freedom yeah you know big That's topic today is freedom and liberties yeah and it's like you know just hey you know what? You live your life your way, and I'm going to live mine mine, okay? Exactly. Yeah. Peace out, homie. That's it. <laughs> I, I'm real particular about that, too, and I have the whole setup. I, like, you probably saw my, my fucking shit over there. Yeah, it's a great but setup. I do, the same, I, I do the same thing that you do where I go out, and I just go, here's a left, right. I got it. Mm -hmm. I got it covered, okay? Mm -hmm. I Technically, I don't need any of your... I don't even need the main <laughs> PA anymore. I got my own PA now. I We have our own monitor wedges. Uh, I even have my own lighting system, mm -hmm. and I'm working on a fucking video wall and a camera system, and I have a second switcher. Yeah. My show is going to be tight. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I plan on taking that all out with the, with the fucking Primus band. I'm going to make the Primus tribute thing so psychedelic. It's going to be such an amazing yeah. experience. Yeah, and yeah. anywhere we go, it'll sound exactly the same because yeah. it's all going to be a package that I yeah. own. Yeah. And no one... And there, yeah. there, there, is, there is a method, you know, to the... Um, you know, to kind of um, uh, agree with the the, house. the, the full-on back, backing track oh, yeah. thing is, you know, that really, that, that is a, a common goal for a lot of artists is, is, is perfection, yeah. you know? I mean, you just, you just want it to sound the best it can be, and you want to play the best you can, and you really do want to entertain and get that, get that feeling that we talked about when you hear that song, you know, you want, that's, Dude, that's why everybody's there. Right. Right. That's why everybody's there. That that's song. even why the critics are there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, anyway, yeah, you know, so if you can, um, you know, use your brain, hello, and, and, and the technology to, to achieve that ultimate goal, which is like kind of, 
you know, perfection. Not all artists want perfection. They yeah. like it loose. They like it sloppy. They like it different. That's cool too. But you know, some of us are not. We're not all built that way. A yeah. lot of us are built in a way where it's just like always just better. Just like you, you almost want to achieve enlightenment. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, and uh, I know exactly. I, love, what I like you mean. I like what you're doing. You're you're building your show. You're that, that's your you're you're creating a, something that they people can only see that right there. I I love what you say about. Um, Chasing per ch chasing perfection yeah. to achieve enlightenment yeah. in, in music yeah. uh, because I felt like that has, um, has been part of my personal journey as well where I went into the digital drum realm mm -hmm. and I went into not just the digital drums but digital guitars digital everything right I was like let's fucking take it into the box let's really manipulate all these waveforms and make it perfect and I and like I really dug into that whole achieving perfect times signatures everything is on a f the exact fucking millisecond mm -hmm. uh, of the beat um and and accomplishing that and stepping back from it and taking and push and play and going that's what perfection sounds like i went oh that isn't what i'm after is it yeah uh, yeah and um and then um i was watching an anime called big o and in big o uh, they have androids, and one of the androids is learning how to play piano. Okay. Why does an android need to learn how to play piano when it could be programmed to just to play it? Well, because when it's programmed to play the piano, it plays it perfectly. And so what it's practicing is to be off the timing just a little bit, mm -hmm. that variation mm -hmm. of being ahead of the beat or behind the beat just by a center or, or two, or sorry, that's, that's, that's changing, just by a few milliseconds here or there. Um, that's where the fucking vibe is. That's where the passion is. That's where all the soul is, yeah. right? And yeah. now I'm all super fucking obsessed with live albums <laughs> because I want to hear yeah. the drummer yeah. playing drums, right? Yes. Like, yeah. we, they didn't chop his drums all up. Yeah, yeah. It's not perfect in a yeah. studio. You hear all his mistakes, yeah. and you hear the fucking guy, right? So now I don't hear the drummer because of all that perfection bullshit I went through, right? And finding, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hearing that guy. I'm hearing that guy's fucking heart, man. Yeah. He's fucking going through and yeah. doing his thing and, yeah. and vibing, you know? Like, yeah. that's, yeah. that's the point of it, right? The music, you capture someone's energy and someone's vibe, yeah. I guess it would yeah, be the word. And, and some music, right? some music perfection is the sound. Yeah. Other some music, the the, the sloppiness and the 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 error, human error is is the vibe. Yeah. I mean, it's just you know. So it's kind of I, I know what you're what, saying though. You, what you side can, do you want? You, yeah. You can get super perfect, and it yeah. kind of it sounds lifeless and soulless. I don't. Yeah. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm I I I, I know what's up. You know. Um, I've, yeah. I've even gotten to the point with, um, like, on um, maybe say I'm having a psychedelic experience and I got to get into some fucking tunes, right? Mm -hmm. And we're all going for, like, the um, the techno-y, vibey stuff and the cool keyboardy shit. And it's like, um, what I really dig is when I can hear the wood the guitar is made out of, mm -hmm. the the tubes and the amps and the microphone. That that's true. Being, right? Like, if, so when we when we take it back, when we take it back to those analog consoles and the fucking, you know, the two microphones and they, they're playing instruments through microphones and it's getting recorded to tape. And you it's could, cool. You could hear all that, right? Like when I'm fucking on, when you're, you know, when you're really on one, man, and yeah. you can hear every little scrape and detail, you're like, yeah. that's fucking beautiful man yeah, yeah. like I, I, it's 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 equally as important as the notes they're playing yeah it's such yeah. a trip yeah I'm, I'm a big lobbyist of 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 the technology you know and, and i think i've proved that point oh yeah i love the technology you know, but you know the the other side you know kind of the, the the old school organic way is is super super cool too i'll tell yeah. you a quick story we were on tour with uh Tesla earlier in I the year. That. Yeah, I know. Um, anyway, and we had a uh, we had an issue where we couldn't um, get our tracks going. It was a um, and what it was is we couldn't get our in ears to work in this building. There was an airport nearby, and Tesla had this massive in ear uh, antenna impactor thing shooting across the stage, and we couldn't get our cheap shit to work. Okay, period. So we shit canned it, and we just went old school. Mm -hmm. You know, plug and play. Um, and, um, and I was, I was playing an acoustic drum kit. 
okay. uh, for the whole tour. So that part was not, you know, there was no drum module. I was playing an acoustic kit. And I'll do that sometimes. It was the best show ever. Yeah. It was the best show ever. Yeah. And, and um, you know, uh, you know, kudos to my guys, and, and, me included, because, well, we know how to play our shit. Yeah. Uh, but it was just like, it was raw. You took that click away. It was no click. Uh, the, 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 the brains were taken like... off. We were unbridled. And, I mean, it was just, uh, it was killer. Yeah, bro. It was killer. When, the, when, when, <laughs> when you're not playing to that click and you get in the heavy part and you yeah. start fucking picking it up you know three or four bpm you know like the heavy part has more energy to yeah. it it's, oh, it gets it you know and it's um oh man um and there everybody's was that, and there was also that part where, where we were losing literally like we were losing one of our instruments right that being the track the tracks. yeah we, so we it's like a big oh, part of your yeah, sound we're, like, we're going yeah we're going without that multi-instrumentalist you know yeah. non-band member you know so we were had a little attitude about it you know? ah. we're just like we gotta we gotta compensate we gotta destroy oh know? dude and uh yeah it was just awesome and all those things you're talking about the little noises and the scrapes and the push and pull of the tempo oh. and feeding off the crowd you know where you know truth be told you know when you're working with a click brother you're working with a robot yeah that thing don't move you're working you're 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 yeah you're you're right on the grid mm -hmm. and that's it mm -hmm. you know um and it has a it has a sound to it that is it affects you. When I play yeah. live to a click, uh -huh. that shit fucks me up. <laughs> so, because then I start vibing, right? Yeah. And then um, uh, it, it's like, <laughs> I want to go faster. <laughs> I want, I'm like, this can't be the speed, man. Yeah. This can't be the speed that we're playing at. Because my, you know, Trust like, me. reality slows the fuck down. It's like when uh, martial artists get in a fucking fight in a movie and someone's throwing a punch and he's like, like yeah. that your fucking brain is just moving so fast yeah. that the tempo of the song just feels like it's yeah. going so slow I'll, I'll i'll watch playback of me jamming some fucking primus shit and i'll be yelling at polly my drummer fucking pick it up man and he goes man it's you know you can see That's it's on it. video he's going he's going no we're, we're there man mm -hmm. but i'm so in it i'm like mm -hmm. fuck it i don't yeah. care pick it up yeah and we listen to the playback and we start cracking the fuck up we're like 9 bpm or like so fast over yeah. and we're like how are we even playing yeah. these fucking crazy licks that fast yeah and at the time it still felt like we were playing it too yeah. slow yeah like you're in the matrix yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, believe me i'm that being the drummer it's like yeah i've i've learned I, and i've got a lot of experience with clicks yeah and 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 tracks i really do i mean i started really early uh with that um uh I, I can't re remember why, but it just seemed like I was I was working with a click pretty young, and uh, yeah, man, there are times where I'm just like, wow, we are crawling. I know. I mean, like we are crawling, but we're not. No, you play it back, <laughs> and it's perfect. Yeah. And, but oh my god, I feel yeah. so slow. I know. And the studio, I can handle it. The studio, I'm aware of it. But when I'm pumped and there's people down there and I'm fucking s singing and getting yeah. all excited and shit yeah. like that. God damn it. Yeah. We stopped playing with the click. We were just yeah. like, well, I mean, we never really, um, we attempted it at first. Was that just for timing purposes to, or, or what, did you have tracks and stuff that you were trying to work in? No, it was, to, it was because I'm OCD perfectionist and that was a point in my life where I was really bad. Um, now I'm not like that. I'm, mm. I'm just like, let it flow, baby. What it is yeah. is what it is. Yeah. You know, like, um, uh, I've, I've, I've done that before in bands where we didn't, we didn't play, um, with a click, um, you know, no, there were no tracks, so hell, they didn't even exist. Yeah. Um, but we would rehearse with a click to get the band tight, you know, and then we would go out and do our shows. And if there were ever a problem, like somebody would be complaining about timing or whatever, we could just refer back to the, it's like, well, why don't we just go back to the click? Mm -hmm. And that's going to be our decision maker. You know what I mean? And hey, if you want to pick it up, 5 BPM, 10 BPM, we will. But we're not gonna do this crazy stuff. You yeah, know? Uh, that works for some bands. Oh yeah, like but Rage Against the Machine on Iron the Maiden. record. On Iron it Maiden, it goes up four BPM yeah. when it goes to the chorus. Yeah, yeah they just jam. because they were just doing it live. They jam, dude. Maiden's yeah. notorious for that. Yeah, let's just we're just gonna. It sounds right. Boom, 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 Hey, just what are you doing? Yeah. Making it up. They're making music. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. vibing. Yeah. Making frequencies. Yeah. Man. It's super it's super crazy how, how how they make that work so so well. Yeah, rage is dude. Awesome. It's a trip yeah. what happens to you. Um there was a thing that I saw um where they hooked everyone up to MRI scanners, right? And are like brain scans. Okay. And then they let the band play. Okay. And so everyone's all sporadic, sporadic, sporadic. 
fucking beat drops and everyone's brainwaves line up with each other. And it's this fucking thing where we're all synced together uh, predicting you know, everyone's on this prediction of the beat. That's what that's what music is, right? Like, it goes one, two, and you're like, you third come. one's coming, right? There's yeah. going to be a third one there. That's what that's basically what your brain does, does with music. Yeah. It, it, that pattern happens. So, oh, that's a pattern. So, oh, we're doing a thing now, right? Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Um, so when everybody goes, oh, we're doing a thing now, and the pattern, and you start predicting the pattern, your brain waves all sync up, and everybody's like on it. It's this cool fucking thing that happens yeah. with, with, with human beings. Yeah. When they are all predicting the same pattern and uh, uh, and playing music together, man, uh, this is I don't know, I don't know. It's it, it's it's beautiful, yeah. is what it is. Yeah, that we can do that as as entities in this yeah. world. We just yeah. sync together. Yeah. and imagine like some of the big bands too. Back in the day, there's like 30, 40 people up there, fucking dude. Yeah, and they're all just in unison. Yeah, I went to a Christmas thing, um, and it was. Um, uh, band and bells and orchestras and timpanis and no mics. Yeah. In a theater, small place. Yeah. But, it, dude. But they had like an acoustic um, Amazing, room, right? Amazingly powerful. No, no, no Marshall stack. You mm. know, no, no mic'd up drum kit. Acoustics are can't even amazing. come. Can't even come close. No. It was like you're actually hearing the instruments. Yeah. You feel in it, and the place yeah. was built for it too. You know, oh, dude. it's just a little spot. You know, like hundred people, but theater, you know, symmetrical, the whole deal. They got the timpanis up there, all kinds of cool shit. You know, tubas and flutes, and it's just like that shit's beautiful. Yeah, man. you know, you got forty people singing harmony. <laughs> yeah, I love you know, that. Oh, it's like dude. So that's cool too. You know, it's powerful. Yeah, it's really Listen, powerful. See the beauty in it. You know, yeah, whether it's. Whether it's digital, EDM, perfect on the grid, all kinds of lasers and perfection, you know, to what I just described, or just yeah. like, you know, you're 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 in sync, you know, 50 people singing, and you know, uh, you know, an orchestra and a choir, and it's 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 all good, man, you know, yeah, it's all good. You know, don't 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 take the fun out of out of music because music's so awesome. It's life, you know? man. Yeah. It's the, the, I, I think it's really our purpose in life, man. I mean, everything is a, everything's a waveform. Everything's a vibration. Yeah. And for us to take vibration and create art out of it and yeah. things that we can flow together. And like I said, those predictive patterns that occur in your brain. I mean, it's just one of the most important things we do as a species, dude. Like fucking, um, is this artistic love that we spread around. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's like, what else is there to give our lives purpose and meaning? You know, like all these, what we build bigger bombs. You know, we yeah. make the. Are we still building those? We, we make. I, I have more money than this guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my car is faster than yours. Yeah. What is all that? I don't know. That's the fucking illusion, man. Yeah. You know, like yeah. the, none of it matters. You don't get to. Yeah, but, but. Yeah. I'm with you, man. Like I, the, I like nice shit, but I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not down like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like listening to BB King play guitar, you know, everybody gets to hear that forever, yeah. and it will always change your fucking heart when you need to hear it yeah. those vibrations and uh yeah you just i don't know life's a life's a dance man it you're is. here to play it that's is. what i like I, it is we need to bring concerts back yeah we do i'm gonna i'm gonna play another fucking one of these too we got another video to play we're running low on time okay yeah fucking um yeah what is it that alan watts always says man you know the uh the purpose of dancing isn't to find a specific spot on the floor and the purpose of playing a song isn't to get to the end of the song it's called playing you know it's, yeah. it's, it's, there's a reason why we call reason. it play yeah, yeah. You, you just just enjoy it yeah while it's there yeah uh it's 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 all just an illusion check this fucking shit out here Dude, what are we gonna roll oh damn this is a good one it's fun He's got such a great voice, bro. Really Still doing it, man. It's just, get that's just a perfect rock and roll voice. Right, I know I'm gonna get it. I... Not bad for being right on the click, right? Dude. Feels so, great, right? He's really good. We were, uh, that was my big thing with, uh, uh, I don't remember his name, Ignacio. Yeah. 
uh, the front of house guy that I was working with um, for this, we, we were just like, I was like, we got to get that compressor tightened up on his voice. I, I was like, oh, he's going to hit it. Yeah, because yeah. he was being, you know, he was like, he was, uh, not, not, yeah, he was letting it be, you know, and it was like, oh, it was a little compression. But it's like, dude, when he hits that, I need to see like, I don't know, eight to ten decibels of gain reduction. Like, bring him down. You're going to blow the horns up. It hurts it's hurting the ears. Yeah. He's the power yeah. behind his fucking voice when he starts hitting those high notes. It's yeah. dope. Yeah. Two, it's Chris, too, right here. The fucking guitar player. I had to do the same exact shit to him. When he goes and hits those fucking high notes, man. Power. Yeah, you put together a fucking solid team of cats, bro. Those right there. This song, this song specifically, we were like, yeah, making sure that those he's nice and warmed up now. Cause, yeah, because now everybody's just going ah as loud as I can into the microphone. <laughs> and it, it had power. Nice. Nice. I think it's going to go right into the next one, too. Right, let's see here. I'm going to push this one up. Uh, oh, wait, oh, yeah, we do. We got money ramming up. Here it comes. Fade it right back into this. Got to make that dude. money. Nico. Always, th always think of uh, Talladega Nights. Oh, Great yeah. scene whenever we talk about got to make that money. <laughs> Love that money. <laughs> <laughs> Shake and bake. Shake and bake, baby. <laughs> Love that money. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great cover. I really liked the, uh, what is it? The Lady Gaga cover you guys did. Poker, Poker Face. Face. Yeah. That came out of nowhere for me. Yeah. And, uh, that was actually, I, I, was, I was laughing my ass off yeah. when I realized what you guys were doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then fucking Mark hitting the high note. On yeah. that chorus? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Like, yeah. everybody has, like, a range where their voice is just butter. Yeah. And that's it. Dude, his range is, like, right there. Like, you just hear it. It's just, like, just came out of him so smooth. Yeah. Nailing those high notes. Yeah. Yeah, that's his jam for sure. It's a good jam. You guys did a really cool version of that song. That's, uh, um, uh, Gillies. Oh, really? Yeah. He produced that? He, yeah. He, he actually came to us with the idea. Did he? Yeah. He came out to one of our shows. Oh. Okay. And he was like, dude, I want to talk to you about doing a song. I'm like, what? What's up? You know? Yeah. And he's like, are you, you guys do any remakes or anything? I was like, you know, we, we'd like to, but we can never agree on jack shit when it comes to that. You know? Um, he goes, I think I might have the right, the right song for you, you know? So we literally, it was all, he just like, we all went in the studio separately and he directed. It was, uh, and that's what, how it came out. He did an awesome job. That's awesome. And we were like, I guess that's what we need because we can't even pick one, you know? Dude, sometimes <laughs> we pick this it one, really though. helps, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, uh, uh, what is it? Barney's good about that kind of stuff. Mike Barney. Yeah. He'll come in and just... Clean it right the fuck up. He's yeah. just like, we really need chop it. chop, bitches. Yeah, we really needed it because we, you know, we've seen how many bands in history do great remakes from Van Halen and Motley Crue to Five Finger Death Punch. Everybody, a lot of bands do remakes, you know. Yeah. We just, we would walk into rehearsal or wherever and throw ideas around, and you know, you think it's the greatest, you know, song to remake ever, but nobody, everybody else hates it. Yeah, and that was like, like we just couldn't come up. We just couldn't, you know. That's how it goes, man. And uh, so, so Mike, you know, we, we we popped our cherry with Michael. You know, he's just like, I was just like, you pick it, dude. Like whatever you say. Money! <laughs> right, it's money. That's yeah. awesome. So that really helped. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we uh, we have a. 
the new band that we're fucking with, and uh, we just agree. I'm willing to play anything you want to play. Okay. That's the deal. If you want to play it, I'll learn it. If, yeah. you're, if you're going to come here and you learn how to play and sing it, okay. we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it. Because I don't give a shit. Yeah. And, and, and it's, the, it's so great because um, it's, uh, it, I'm doing it with, uh, with Anthony. We've been working together our whole fucking lives. And, of course, you know, it's like he's my fucking brother. But yeah. like we were saying before, a fucking band is a marriage. And sometimes we clash heads when it comes to decisions about these kinds of things. And, and and just having that where it's just like play anything you want. Yeah. And he's like, I'll play anything that uh, that you want. Yeah. And uh, that's just the end of it. No, you know, no, no discussion. Yeah. 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 We're, we're here to have fun. That works. And because we took the whole concept of like, we're going to be famous and we got to create this fucking really awesome product and package. Yeah. It's more like, uh, no, we're getting old and, and we want to go play at the local bar and these are going to be the songs that we play. Yeah. And the vibe is so fucking great, man. Yeah. And the music they're writing too, because, um, again, it's not like I'm bringing my best songs to the table because mm -hmm. those are like if anthony's writing music like that right like he's got a project he's working on and if i'm writing music like that i got a project i'm working on right i got my own solo thing that i'm gonna make and he's got um, he's amazing he writes so much fucking music so the stuff that we write it happens here right so we get together we jam i'll, I'll multi-track record us playing in the room for two hours three hours whatever and then i just send it out to everybody and we can listen back and go at like an hour and, and 10 minutes or whatever, it, there was this thing that we did. Mm -hmm. And let's write a song like mm -hmm. that, about that. Mm -hmm. And it's fucking perfect. Yeah. It's so perfect. That, yeah. that, that fucking vibe. That that's, we, that's, a really, that's a really good way. It's fucking nice, yeah. man. All the ways you can be creative. We started talking about borrowing. Right. And, you know, this, this is what you're doing is you're, you're, you're capturing, you're basically capturing, you know, lightning in a bottle sort of, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, and, but it, but you're, you're borrowing from yourself. You know, it's super cool. It's it is. Like, you, you, otherwise, you you missed it. You were enjoying it another way. Yes. When you take it home and you get it in the cans and you're just like, totally didn't hear that. That's awesome. Yeah. Minute and 10 seconds, you know. Dude, it's, Send that over. it's so the way to do it. Yeah. And, um, and because we're like jam Olane, right? So um, Michael Mason, that's playing drums with us. And he's fucking amazing. Uh, and he's really good at going, hey, guys, pay attention. Pay attention. We're starting. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I fucking love that about having a drummer who's like, he's so punctual about like, we're fucking, I didn't come over here to fuck around because Michael yeah, yeah. Masonette's in like 25 bands. Sure. So he, if he's coming over to play with you, there's a reason for it. Sure, sure. And he doesn't have fucking time to waste. Yeah, I like it. And, uh, and so we get shit done and we'll just sit there and jam, 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 jam. Yeah. And the openness of it to where we aren't going in any direction. We're not a metal band, right? Yeah. We're not a funk band. We're not a rock band. Yeah. We're just three guys who can play music and it'll start getting funky and like we'll be jamming on this metal thing and it sounds like Ozzy so we start screaming and like we start going uh, I never listened to Ozzy you know and just start singing Ozzy lyric type things is like uh, Sweet Leaf or whatever was kind of like we were playing mm -hmm. uh, it sounded like so we started you know making up lyrics like we've never heard an Ozzy song in our life and then it got funky and now we're doing some funk shit mm -hmm. and we listen back and we're just like god damn it that's so much fun yeah you're just creating yeah you know that's it's the, the openness of it and such cool shit comes out yeah I, I, we really need to record something for real and like actually do a song yeah <laughs> or you, like a, you, a, you will when it when the time is right yeah you yeah know? exactly yeah, you'll do it when the time is right yeah it's feeling like it's getting a lot closer yeah. when this when this corona thing hit everyone was like what the fuck am i gonna do like this is what i'm gonna fucking do right i was like yeah, this yeah. podcast might be able to fucking do something so i yeah. put all my efforts into it but now yeah. that it's running we're like yo we should fucking be jamming yeah you yeah know? so but yeah, it's a, uh, you know, it's the future we'll see. I'm yeah. hoping to have him, uh, him and uh, and uh, Ray on the podcast. My other homie, uh, they are doing a thing called Team Runk, mm -hmm. which is a video game thing where they stream video games and have a fun and stuff like okay. that. So they'll be on here to do that, and we'll be talking about music and shit like that. So yeah. it'll be fun. Yeah. Well, hopefully this was cool. You know, this was a little, little something. Some tidbits, some some talking shit about critics. Dude. You know, somebody's got to do it, right? 
Oh, yeah, exactly. Fuck critics. <laughs> We're right there on the same page. Like Eminem, yeah. Eminem loves critics. I, I, I was hearing uh, some of his lyrics about that kind of stuff. No, this has been a uh, this has been a fucking perfect podcast, man. Two hours in, we are killing it, wrapping yeah. it up. Uh, one more time, I am going to promote. Here it is, right here. Foundry Rocks dot com check that shit out go click on it see if you can look at like the little finger clicks over right here if i click on the button it'll take you right to that site and start playing music for you so uh, definitely check out foundryrocks.com go to all their social media make sure you like them and uh, yeah make sure to subscribe i'm i need subscriptions yeah yeah, right? li- like, like, and subscribe like. to this podcast. Yeah, like for, and subscribe for better, better stuff. You're in the infant stages. In the exactly, right? it started to turn into a thing, right? Yeah. Oh, we got a Patreon now, right? right? So there's like a little thing in the orange button in the corner. Click the orange button in the corner. All right. Give me some money. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you ask for just, money, just, right? Just, yeah. Give me your fucking money. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Throw me a bone, dude. Yeah, no, you know we're, we're it's 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 been a really fun time, a really fun project. And it's growing, yeah. it's growing and growing and growing. So that's cool. Yeah. And I really, I really want to appreciate. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I want to thank you for coming on my podcast, Mark. Of course, it's been awesome. Yeah. I really appreciate your it was time. Cool to reconnect after however many years. Dude, yeah. I know, right? It's been yeah. a while. Like, uh, it's that's how life goes, uh, you know. Fucking yeah. ebbs and flows, man. It, it, is, isn't it cool what what we're what we're gonna get into too? Oh, uh, you know, oh, people don't even know. Just keep tuning into the podcast, I, okay? And you guys will find out soon enough. I haven't told anybody. You better not. <laughs> it's, it's so awesome. hard to not tell anybody. <laughs> I fucking told my own brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't jinx shit like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. No, it's fucking. It's, it's it's been an absolute pleasure and likewise so, yeah we'll close it out at that all right man fade to black hey everyone thanks for watching my podcast you can check out more podcasts right here and subscribe by clicking right here we are a new podcast every monday morning at 6 a.m pacific standard time